Uh, previously on the Myriad, you guys had traveled through the basement and before this, you found a church with a book in it. Chuck read the book, gained no information, started seizing up, uh, survived with two sanity. Too. I did the math. You had a 40% chance to die and you didn't die. So that's a positive, I guess. That's a dub. That's a dub. Uh, and then they've been adventuring further through this basement to try and uh, find out what's going on down here. They encountered a cultist in the middle of this ritual circle who uh, called them piss boys, had his throat cut by a gutter folk, and summoned a uh, cosmic aberration, which is uh, this thing that they had just oh. finished uh, fighting previously on the last episode. Upon its destruction... It coalesced in upon itself, imploding, creating a complete perfect circle, black void in the room which they are standing. And from there, we can pick it back up again. I find more appropriate music. Play Free Bird. Uh, I don't have Free Bird. No. Through the, through the fire and flames. Hey, that's how those guys died. <laughs> Dick eats his lunch. What he's sitting. He's sitting in the ocean. He's sitting in the filthy water as he unpacks his lunch and eats Wait, the chicken. Are we getting our rewards? <gasps> rewards? I don't think we yeah, got any you said from this. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we do. Or two rewards. He called them rewards, not loot. We, were gonna do we literally only got our injuries, and you said, yeah, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to tell you guys what yeah. we got. Yeah. I don't think anyone gets rewards in the Myriad. You uh, motherfucker. <laughs> we bought this guy so we could get extra rewards. Uh -oh. The reward, the reward was the, the battle combat, dude. What? Well, didn't we, don't we get extra XP for it nowadays? What's the XP? The more you ask the DM for something. XP oh, hey, well, is, hold, uh, on, hold on. Hold on. EXP was, uh, I can't remember what you called it, but... Guys, no. no. Guys, I paid attention. In this world, it's called clout, okay? We don't have enough clout. That's the last game I made. <laughs> I remember that. Well, as you all sit around and lick your wounds, and... Well, Dick is the only one licking his own wounds. Uh, yep. You can hear from within the void that was created from the creature that was destroyed some noises, like waters running... Uh, and muffled voices on the other side of it as though it were some sort of portal to some place where there perhaps could be or could not be rewards. Oh. Guys, I heard something in this thing. Uh, I go in. <laughs> oh, there he goes. I was about, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wait right. and see if he comes back out. Uh, Chuck disappears. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look good. It's Jim, uh, uh, Chuck. Hello. Uh, Killfuck will call out. Mate, what you think is on the other side of that? How the fuck am well, I supposed Chuck, to know? Well, Chuck, now that? I can answer that with certainty. You this think he's? Some... You think he's dead, mate? This is something summoned by cultists and gutter folk. Look, mate. If, he, if this hasn't killed, if he hasn't died yet, I don't think this is going to kill him. This thing looks like the sky. Mate, so you're saying I won't die if I walk into that? How the hell are we supposed to know that, dick? Just say yes, mate. You're gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> dick kills yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> dick <laughs> vanishes, pulled uh, within the circular void, which as people are walking into it, the circle that was in the middle of the room sort of forms more of a door frame around it at the top that reaches to the floor so that they can enter it. Well, what do we do now? <laughs> oh, we, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Flaherty. It's up Gilead, to you don't now. tell me you're going in too. I don't know. I kind of want to wait and see what happens. Let's give it a wee minute. All right. Um, <laughs> five minutes pass. <laughs> I think they're dead. <laughs> I mean, the thing hasn't closed yet. I'm just going to peep my head in. <laughs> 
Gilliard peeps his head in. This guy always with the power gaming, man. Flaherty stands alone in an empty room. Wait a oh, minute, it's not half and half. It's not empty. Did I get sucked in? Yo, I'm you the you book. got I'm stuck. only half bro. to go in. Look, all right, I, uh, this is, we, literally, this is how we died last time. We all just went, fuck it. And we did something yeah. that killed, uh, like, yeah. oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. She's just going to jump in. Did I get Dick, sucked in? Nice Dick session, guys. Die, <laughs> One ready moment. to die let go of your token relinquish no let go i'm not grabbing it Boom. yeah but i know if i as soon as you said five minutes passed i knew that if i don't go <laughs> like nothing's gonna happen did just submit yourself to death yeah metagaming let he metagamed dominate you it's meta it's meta 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 meta, meta, meta. I hope that we die. Mada, mada. I hope Isn't that we're we die. Dead. Isn't that how D&D &D is? Sometimes you have to meta to make your friends have fun. What the fuck? Huh? Meta gaming's never okay. Get oh, this bad. guy off of no pixel. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he I could see. be off of it already. You guys travel through an empty void, seemingly instantly, and even though you enter at a different time, arrive at the same time. There's not much to load. You find yourself in a small circular arena surrounded by writhing black goop intestine Fucking tendril jizz. looking things hands reaching in and out of the walls and one woman stands before you with a scared man hiding behind her should i uh, should i do that as well yeah i'm stuck okay yeah. uh i'm stuck I didn't help me step today. dm That's i'm stuck sad, in a myriad because <laughs> i tried like three new ways to have it load again I didn't it get loaded stuck. for me. Loaded for me. Yeah, it loaded for me. There's like, are we? At, there's one know. image on this map. I would just wait a little bit. I just restarted and it instantly loaded. So, okie dokie. Guys, it's jitters. You're metagaming. How'd you know that was his name? Because I met him before. On when? a different character. He jumps behind the woman and is immediately uh, taken aback by the people who arrive and starts mumbling to himself. <laughs> They're assassins. Do, they're here to kill me. Protect me. Don't let him get me. He's got a gun. If I was an assassin, I would have daggers. Dick has a gun. <laughs> Dick, you should shoot that guy. Don't, Don't worry. worry. They're not here to hurt you. Oh. Put well, your gun I, down. I wouldn't be too sure about two of them. You want me to put me gun down, mate? If you want. I don't want to, bro. What is this place? Can I get teleported? <laughs> I can get teleported. Cool. Is it loaded? Now. Yes. Yes. Is, yes. Is the void. I've been expecting you. What the hell are there floating hands everywhere? I don't know. Sure what that says about us that you'd be that we'd be stupid enough to come in here and see you mm. and you're waiting i've heard whispers <laughs> about you in this place you have done many stupid things oh no they yeah, know what yeah, she's, she's name there. tomb bro clarification yeah. dick's done stupid things and chuck's done stupid things Not oh me. really who got decapitated then that was pretty dumb. <laughs> it does have you I, there. I, that's a wee bit true. Good. <laughs> I can admit when I'm wrong. Man, they're gonna do something stupid and they're gonna kill me. Don't let them do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump. Don't let do them near me. <laughs> do it. We'll, do a flip. <laughs> Please, do not hurt my friend. And the void has gifts. Someone's already said oh. that before, and uh, she got shot in the back of the head. What went hard with all these hands? You didn't really answer that. I don't know. Oh. Hey, she said it's the void. Shakes a hand. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, void. <laughs> you stick your hand into the blackness, and your hand burns as though it's on fire. Ah! <laughs> ah! Is it actually on fire? It just burns. It just, like... 
Dude, it's a gomja bar. You stick your hand in there. Pain's the mind <laughs> uh, killer. Fear, all that. Am I just saying uh, words? Yeah. Words, <laughs> got it. It hurts. Fear. It's not actually on I'm fire. I'm I'm burning and I'm scared. <laughs> it's just it's just make it's just your mind. You're not actually on fire. Uh, how do you know that? Well, I don't see your hand being burnt, and I don't smell burnt flesh. Well, I mean, look at where we are, man. Maybe everyone's perception is, like, different and shit, yo. Tell me. What? What would you like from the void? Uh, and I have a bunch what? of meta options that she can pull out from What's the, the void catch? and give you. Let's kill that guy. We want that guy dead. <laughs> yeah, how the hell do you even know who we are? Also, you said we're stupid, but you're giving us gifts. Yeah. Yeah, why'd you call us dumb? It's like you're rewarding stupidity? Within the you're void, dumb. I can hear the whispers of the myriad. And for some reason, the poet has chosen you as protagonist. Oh, why? That makes sense. Why'd oh. you call him a poet? The cosmic sign, the poet. Have you not heard of it? No, bro. I don't know if I know much about that kind of stuff. Guys, it's one of the 12 signs. There's a oh. lot more than that. That's what I meant. For some reason, unseen to me, your actions, though chaotic, are important. The Void has asked me to aid you on your journey. Why did you, why did you say that to them? What? They're, now they're gonna think everything they've done is justified. Well, it is. That's how we got See? here. See? Well, <laughs> well, I mean, if the, if whatever, whoever this divine being is that the poet is, uh, sent this person to guide us, clearly they like what we've done. Perhaps. Can you guide them into not being murderers? I misspoke. The poet may not see you as protagonists, but that your deaths are more important than others. Whether you do good or bad or anything at all. See, it doesn't matter. It doesn't well, matter what we do. <laughs> who the hell's the homeless looking guy? Why is he here? Hey, man, I'm, I'm just hiding out here. Everyone's trying to kill me. I, I was told there ain't going to be nobody in here. Nobody comes through here. I was hoping that everybody just leave me alone. We're not trying to kill you. We don't even know who you are. Hey, just put his gun down. He loaded that thing. That beast is aimed right we over just, here. He's going to kill just, me. <laughs> We just met you. I'm a hot target. You guys would get so much money if you killed me. Oh, we have to kill this guy. <laughs> we have to kill him. We have to kill this guy. No, don't. It's bad money. What did you money. do? I danced with death. <laughs> Who's death? What do you mean? What'd you do? The great reaper in the sky. The Eternals. Oh, like that Kansas song? It's like some kind of dark, twisted song. A journey? One of the two. Listen, all you need to know is that the ancient gods would be really happy if you killed me. Kill but, this guy. But don't. Dick, shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically begging for it. I swear, you, you better not shoot me. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're giving them a lot of reasons mate, to kill you. Mate, <laughs> why don't you tell us a bit about death, mate? What do you want to know? What, what do you mean, dance with him, bruv? So you guys heard of dying, right? Yeah, mate. It hurts uh -huh. real bad. I've done it a couple times, but never I, for so real. Have I. Oh, I well, can vouch. You didn't do it like me. I'm real what good do you mean? at it. Don't gatekeep death. Mm. <laughs> or see, the ancient god of death lives within inside my mind, and if you kill me, he's gonna come out and kill all you guys. Everything's gonna end. The whole universe is over. You're being a bit dramatic, ain't you? I'm not being yes. dramatic. You need to relax. Dick, you hear that? If you really want to die, you gotta kill this guy. <laughs> oh. He just said the univer universe will end. I ain't gonna aim at myself. What? I ain't gonna aim at myself. You don't have to. Just shoot. Just kill. I think we should kill this guy. I don't. Say, I don't think you should kill this guy. The woman blank face <laughs> stares forward and really doesn't seem to interject. 
Man, we ain't have to him. kill this guy. I, I ain't shooting him, bro. We have to kill this guy. I ain't shooting him, mate. <sighs> yeah, it could be worth a lot of money. Who's going to give us the money, mate? There won't Listen. be any money left, Chuck. He's looking freaking homeless. He has no money. Dick, I thought you were embracing the filth. What's more filthy than destroying the universe? <laughs> pretty, that's I'm pretty filthy. Disgusting. Look at if me. He I'm stinky. the universe. There's nothing filthy left for him. Yeah, look, it looks I'll like hug the, him instead. It looks I like smell this guy's... so bad that flies came into the void with me. <laughs> Embrace the filth. That's yep. what. That's what he's been saying. We have to kill this guy. Mate, I'll just give him a hug. Mate, if we end the universe. Then there won't be no universe to get filthy in, bruv. Well, then this guy's pretty filthy. Go embrace him. Oh, yeah. I want to, bruv. Do it. I, I want to rub, rub me face in his filthy fucking beard, bruv. I'm the last line of defense for humanity. <laughs> <laughs> you? That can't be true. It's true. But you're so gross and <laughs> oh, look at you guys. You guys are barely important enough to be here and you're all nasty. Well, not I am not well, nasty. One of us is nasty. Maybe a couple of us. Who? Yeah. Me, you. you, Dick. You're on this whole filth oh. arc. Dick, oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate. Dick chose to die. That's your that's your character arc right now, Dick. <laughs> you're on that you're on that arc. I just want to yeah. kiss Radiant Mike. Go kiss this guy. You want to? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I don't I don't think that's a good idea. Listen, I have a moral obligation to tell Mike if you kiss this man. I ain't going to kiss him, mate. I, my, me heart's for Mike. You should go chew on this guy's beard and suck on it. <laughs> you should suck the dirt out of this guy's beard. <laughs> I, I want nothing more in this whole universe, mate. Do it. No. <laughs> Why? Listen, I ain't gonna kiss him. Don't I get a choice? No. <laughs> so, on to the I'm topic gonna, of gifts. I'm you gonna said you jump. had gifts for us. <laughs> yes. The Void has many offerings, and I may be able to aid you in various ways. Great. Like, like what? Wait, mate, what's your name, lady? I don't know. How long you been here, bro? A long time. Where are you oh. from, mate? I don't remember. Oh my uh, god. Unmatched. You, uh, you, uh... <laughs> ever killed someone, bro? Maybe. Has anyone ever told you you're boring lately? You are <laughs> the driest conversation ever. Mate, you ever... You got any family, mate? I remember my son dying. Boy. What? Well, <laughs> uh... <laughs> your... Hmm. Your son didn't happen to be a... You didn't happen to marry a captain, did you? <laughs> no. Oh. This was okay. thousands of years ago. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. Well, oh, so you know about that. What was the world like a thousand years ago, mate? Hmm. More chaotic. Less. You look pretty good for your age. Yeah, mate. What's, What's your secret? I hope I look that good when I'm that old. Hey, you're kind of hot. Me too. I believe that no one ages inside the void. Well, that's handy. Great for your skin. What do you Guys, do here? What the hell are we doing here? Can what we get you, out of here? It's a good on, what, do you, what, what do you do here? What do you do? You just, like do you just you just stare into the void? It's dark. Basically. She said she was waiting for us. Not God. entirely, but I knew you were coming. I listened Your to the mirror. Your whole purpose is the. Oh, I do that too sometimes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is yeah, a little. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> It is a little safer to do so here, as the myriad avoids this place. Oh, cool. Hey, I got this book. You want to read it together? Yeah. I wouldn't recommend that. Boy. Why? The myriad within it is still within it. Oh, wait, she's right, mate. Wait, so, but the myriad avoids this place. Then how the hell do I have this book? 
Because you brought it here. Yeah, but if the myriad... So I brought the myriad in here? Yeah. Burn it, mate. I could release the myriad in here, maybe. That might be cool. Chuck, why are you always looking to destroy everything? Last time you looked inside that, you had Pfizer. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, mate, so... You're single, then. <laughs> My Windows Defender just said that the Myriad's good. I can open it. Nice. <laughs> Woo. Windows Defender right. does not like Java. I'm with Gilead here. I think we should get our gifts and leave. All right. Hey, is it is so what you're gonna like touch us and and then imbue us with your fucking void magics? So a bit meta on this token up here to the right for you guys. She has some items, some various choices, some spells, all of the purple ones. You would still need to have mysticism to learn those spells, but you can make any one choice from there, whether it be equipment. You gotta let us click it. Oh, that's why. Yeah. What? The little thing right here, the void. Yeah, that has a whole bunch of tokens on it. Oh. Uh, over to the now top left. It. She has, those are some services that she can do if you trade her fate. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, everybody gets to pick one. So just one, even the if right you trade the left? Uh, anyone can do the ones on the left because they are a service for fate. And then anybody uh, pick one from the right. I think these are. So the void rewards is this shit to the right of it, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So, are people gonna think we're crazy for having these things? They're normal things, left here behind by people like you. What? <laughs> think ritual? this is normal. A ritual that may be performed on a target so that their existence is completely forgotten by everyone. <laughs> All memories, <laughs> including the target, will be replaced or misplaced. Cool. All right. That's fucked up. Oh. Snapped. You're gone. You're nothing now. You can also trade fate between players here if you wanted to give a player fate to afford something. Uh, how do we see much fate it? we have? In a social? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got 27. I see. Oh, shit. I can and... see the hidden effect on that flame sword. I don't know if that you meant for that to happen. Uh, I did. There shouldn't be a hidden effect. Oh, I, just I, that, that just hidden means up. that when you attack, that won't show up in chat. So it doesn't Wait, look like you a see bug. A fucking flame sword? Oh. Where's the flame sword? I haven't seen uh, a flame on sword. On the void rewards at the top in the equipment. Oh. You may avoid dying one time. Stupid. <laughs> uh, you might need that. Well, I mean, fuck it. Who cares at this point? <laughs> Swiss cheese, basically. Um. How much does this non-existence? It says the fake uh, cost is a uh, variable. It's variable because depending on how important the figure that you choose and how many like connections they have in the world, it may cost more or less. If you choose someone who's already insignificant, you won't have to spend it very oh, much. Right. Oh, so this is a skill and then it costs fate to use that skill. The ones on the left up there are things that she can perform as a ritual for you right now. You can't learn how to do that yourself. Oh, I understand. Oh. So if you tell her that you want Lucky to be forgotten, because apparently you hate Lucky, then she could do that. I don't hate Lucky. That's uh, sure for. What? I just want him to die. I don't hate him. I'm defining stuff. <laughs> Lucky defined. Oh, fuck. I defined the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, we could make Radiant Mike. <laughs> <laughs> not Mike. I make Radiant Mike not exist. I don't, I don't even know who we'd want to not exist <laughs> at this point. Can the, uh, the can the sound for casting the spell just be the beginning oh, of the good. cyberpunk song? I don't know that. Can you explain influence? <laughs> Uh, influence is like how level ups were before, where it'll give you random options to choose from. And I can pick from one? Okay. Yeah. Wait, how are level ups now? 
level ups don't really this. exist anymore and you guys kind of bypassed the whole level up system which completely changed okay so you also, guys are actually quite a bit stronger than other starting people would be and if you die then your new character be would go through a different path uh with the void ring it says all resist plus one and buff does that mean buffs don't work yeah on huh. Ooh, max sanity 25 percent. that's kind of dope you do have a lot of sanity as well and you yeah, would be able to use more shit yeah, and I get one in power. I'm gonna get PvP'd more. <laughs> a cool looking leather jacket. <laughs> that might be good for me. I'm kind of struggling with this uh, whole sanity resource. So, what's 25% of... What do I have, 30? 35. 35? How much would that be? 25% uh, of 35 you, is... You would have 30, 30, not 35, because your current armor is giving you the plus 5. Oh. oh, so then oh. seven point five. I don't know if he rounds up or down. Can you round up? <laughs> uh, I actually don't know what it does. <laughs> oh, so you, you don't you don't know game. what's gonna happen if you if you make his shit. I could go look up it up, that. but it would take me a while. All right. Hey, lady, I want that ring. Uh, you, you're good with the ring. I want the ring. In setting, she would just kind of know what you want it from the selections available and pull a ring out from the void uh, and hand it to you as your night. gift. What? That's pretty nice. Drop your pants. <laughs> That's plus two resist to everything? Yep. That's and nice. plus That's one max, plus max to weight. And the more I weigh, the more armor I get from guard. It's a cock ring, huh? Yeah, got a ringer last night. Oh, look at you. Do I just click on it and it goes to my guy? No, I've got you. I have the to flame sword anything. might be good for someone because I'm going to always be setting people on fire. Boing. So you you would just heal from targets you hit. So we can only pick one thing here, yeah? Yep. Fuck. Okay. What do these seals do? Cause yourself Lady. to enter the void and vanish from reality. That's cool. Is, uh... If I do void storage, is it minus 15% now or for like... Minus 15% is a constant multiplier to your sanity. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Why'd you guys read this, uh, this void shit? That's pretty Lady, dope. I want some void storage, but you know that already. So give it to me. <sighs> Heal sanity, uh, sanity damage to a target equal to their missing health. Dope. Deal psychic damage to a target equal to their missing sanity. Oh. Damn, there's some good shit in here. Some good shit. Yeah. Well, I'm about to do some RP craziness. Oh, there's an interrupt. Ian, did you hear me? Uh, Dirty no, what trick. You I said, lady, give me the void storage, but you already knew that. <laughs> she doesn't already know that. Did you get the ring? Yeah, yeah the, the, the ones on the left you can night. buy with fate. Hey, they named this skill after Flaherty. Real? Dirty trick. Wait, how do we look at the, what are the stuff available? You wait. Oh, you uh, click the void rewards. Oh, uh, and it's just all just all that shit, dog. What does zero point eight five mean? Uh, it's your current sanity multiplier. Void rewards. I'm applying the thing to you. <laughs> Sorry, okay. where, where, where's the void rewards? I... Uh, it's uh, if you scroll out a bit, it's to the top right. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Conviction. Uh, then Gilliard will put it to dragon tome in his head. Get a reroll, that's pretty nice. Nice. That sounds fucking awful. <laughs> Yo, I feel like one of the tanks should take this interrupt. Well, it's not an interrupt, it's just applies a random debuff. Mm, it says play dirty and disrupt a target's actions. Yeah, that's the thematic 
That's the flavor text, but the, what it actually does is right beneath it. Which it could it could interrupt them. Uh, well, there's no interrupt, right? Because it's turn based. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it debuffs. It, yeah, you could stun. Um, oh, so is fate being used for level ups anymore? Uh, I still don't have a 100% answer for exactly how fate will always be used, but in a situation like this, you can use fate for like this is basically a level up in okay. terms of how you're gaining power. Uh, I don't think it'll always be the same or linear. Where do I see how much fate I have? More level up, uh, social. I got 27, bro. I just spent 10. And actually, Dick, I need to give you more. Because uh, <laughs> spell points aren't going to be a thing anymore, and you saved your spell point, and they're just going to convert Wait, them to Wait, I saved my spell point, too. Uh, did you? Anyone who had one from earlier and didn't use it? Which might also I, be kill fuck. I had one, I had one, because I was building toward a level. What, what, what do I have? Sorry, um, I'm checking. I got you. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, don't worry. I will continue to not worry about it. You seem worried. I'm a little worried. Uh, the defensive blade is interesting, but it's going to do less damage than my hammer. Do I just have to remember if something's in my head or not? Oh, the brim shield's actually pretty good. To ignore fire tiles? Yeah, then Flaherty can light you on fire, but then you won't be able to use it because you're a two-hander. Yeah. Wait, what? That's the problem. There's a shield in there that avoids fire tiles. Oh shit, that might be good for me, actually. <clears throat> Bad, um, I thought you like fire. I mean, I make fire. But now you can stand in your own fire and be fine. I do get, uh... I get, like, the action points when I'm on fire, I guess. Well, I think you can be on fire, but still not take damage. Mm. That's a DM question, though. What's the, you know, like, the little icons? So next to the items, like the shield has three crosses, the sword has two crosses. What does that uh, mean? The star is general rarity, and then the crosses are how many modifiers it has. Right. And if they have a circle or an empty circle, that was the tailoring slots that can be filled. And the <sighs> uh, molten sphere would interact with those if your items have empty slots. I, I have a question, Stir. Yep. about c conjoin mm -hmm. um remove one active skill you possess combine some of its effects with a different active skill yep. could i remove opportunity and put it on something else uh what else would you put it on suplex so whenever i suplex anybody i gain temporary armor i could do that That'd be lit, because then I wouldn't have to worry about them fleeing to get the temporary armor from it. Because that's the problem with that, is that enemies really do that. Uh, yeah, to be clear, you would then delete opportunity. That's fine. I mean, basically, the only reason I would use opportunity... The only reason opportunity is good is because it gives me the temporary armor. Otherwise, I can hit them anyway, right? If well, opportunity away, just... is a reaction. Because the only way oh. to hit people with your reaction is opportunity. Mm hmm I haven't used it once. <laughs> Nobody's ever walked away from me. Okay. We did use it on the tree boss. A clam. I... The clam boss. Uh, I know what I want. Just confirm that you're doing that and I can start. I can do that pretty quickly. Yeah. Let me think about that for a moment. I know what I want. What do you want? I want dirty trick and void storage. Oh, wait, hold on. How many items can I hold? Two. Where does it say that? Doesn't, unfortunately. Okay. But everyone yeah, is take... a default, too. Okay. I will take those two things. 
You can put stuff in your head now. Yep. I put something in my head. Can I? Can it be in my hunchback instead? <laughs> oh, he's pulling it out of his hunch. Um, it just comes out with pus covered on it. Sure. Nice. The void hunch. Cool. Enter the filth. Let me ask you something, sir. Yeah. This uh, this metal leatherware, okay. Uh, how how crazy is it? Because it seems pretty fucking good. Uh, it would be very good. It was made with you in mind. Well, I understand that, but I just mean like compared to like. I don't know if you had to like, like give it like a rarity. You know what I mean? That seems insane for your build, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> it does. But I don't have a lot of uh, like damage dealing shit at all, really. I would say that for you, if, now, if you need it, DM assessment is that it would mm. be harder for you to get the void spells than it would be for you to replace your armor later. If yeah, that's, that's what I'm wondering. kind of what you're choosing. Yeah, I'm wondering if, because it seems like armor, more it's more like accessible. Your group has money. I You have some money... I have some money. You have some money. So, like, it's more reasonable that you'd be able to get new equipment later than it is, like, this is the only place you're going to get those spells. I'm going to influence, dude. What do you think? Oh, I thought you meant you were going to influence my decision. <laughs> no, <laughs> I you're you... going to be like, you should take the armor. <laughs> no, no, okay. no. You should, you, don't take the armor. Yes, yeah, sir. No, what does hinder do? So. Uh, when I defined it, it didn't output anything. Uh, it is that the enemy cannot use reactions. Hmm. Nullify is resistances, right? BRB. Nullify is any status effect will be prevented from being placed on the target. Hmm. So, like, if you have one nullify and 18 bleed gets applied to you, it'll go to zero and nullify will go to zero. Dude, that is really good. But I kind of want to roll the dice, man. Uh, when you do roll the dice, it is likely that I may have to make some adjustments on the skills because there's a lot of skills and they all haven't been made up to date from the last, uh, the big adjustments. But okay, they, they should all be pretty I, accurate. Would you rather I not do that then? No, you can do it. It's just that there might be one case where I'm like, yeah, that one says this, but it means this. Okay. Yeah, I'll roll the dice. All right, I gave it to you. Um, okay, do I go back to the Myriad map? No, I can just click it. So, psychic damage, uh, that affects sanity, right? Yeah. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Or, I um, I think I'm going to take Void of Health. I think that, I think that's the play here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Done. And on that note, I'm going to go grab. I'm going to go get some more water. Okay. Let me go over the options Flaherty created for herself with everyone so chat can see what's what. Uh, characters are kind of covering it. Pack size is plus four max weight. Uh, death trick okay. once per combat. Apply detonate to each marked mm. target so that they explode when they die. And currently, Dick can mark targets. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky heal, your healing abilities have a 20% chance to critically heal, being multiplied by your crit multiplier, and gain one in power whenever you spend wealth during combat. Oh my god, both of those are insane. Does empower, like, affect my healing? I don't think so, right? Uh, your skill would say empower on it if it had any influence yeah, it's, with it's empower. just empowered shove, it seems to me. Okay, so the empower thing isn't that great for me. I don't have much empower skills um the crit healing is insane yeah it's 20 percent. yeah because my rapid healing heals three targets so i have three chances to crit and then death trick seems cool if it if i can make dick question about the, yeah question about that though i'm yeah. assuming the explosion hurts everyone around the thing that explodes yep yep hmm 
Yeah, that might just be a bit risque. What's maximum weight plus four? I can hold four more items? Uh, that is the weight that your, like, armor and equipment is taking up. Oh, I see, I see. So right now you're, like, that. three out of ten. You don't really have any. I'm I'm going lucky heal, I think. That's kind of huge. Big. Lucky Big heal. poggers. That's a poggers, my dude. Um, okay, you picked, I think, everybody. How do I get, how do I get lucky? I mean, like, the ability. Uh, everyone has that by default. Oh. You mean the lucky that he defined earlier? Yeah. Yeah, that, everyone, that's just the default thing. Hmm. And I think Penta went away. Real? What a freaking loser. He's muted. Freaking heckin' loser, bitch. God dang it. Um, okay. So I think I do want to conjoin uh, opportunity and suplex, and there's a reason for that. Specifically because opportunity can only be used not on my turn. So, and temporary armor goes away at the beginning of my turn, right? So the only way it would be helpful at all is if they hit me between it not being my turn and my turn. So it has more of a chance to go away if I'm using it not in my turn rather than at, during my turn. True. Is, so that's what I think I'll do. My brain just expanded. <laughs> I am it's awakening. Hmm. Listen, I, it made sense when I thought about it. Not so much when I said it. Well, Hurdy, take this. You're going to need it. I feel like I'm trying to explain the DHC combo in Marvel 3. Oh, thank you, Gellert. I hope you continue to keep us alive. I hope you continue to keep killing things. I usually just get hit. Penta. Penta, Mr. Big Penta. He's not in his chair. Big P. Big P. Okay, uh, major skill. Does it have a different, I mean, different name? Uh, no, I just updated Suplex that has the note at the bottom of the other thing it does. Mm, you can call it Sopportunity. <laughs> I could change it if you'd like. Can you please? What, what Can you spell it in chat? Just Opportunity with an S at the beginning of it. Sopportunity. Yeah, Suplex Opportunity. That easy. Dude. Done. Texas is cringe. I know. I agree. Why would you mm -hmm. say that? I hate it. He is right, though. But why? <laughs> you, you can't just say Texas is cringe. And they killed Penta, man. He, he's dead. Oh. He was you frozen to death. He's freaking dead. He got frozen to death. He stepped outside. No! Wait, he but flashed. I... He I stepped, stepped outside, outside he, fla early. he flash froze it. He's like literally a statue on his doorstep. I'm glad, I'm glad that he's out there and we're in here. I thought my roof was falling apart, so I went outside to check and it was just ice melting and then dropping on my roof. I, th I thought you were Canadian. You're supposed to know that. Well, usually it doesn't happen in Canada. Usually it's just always frozen. Ice! I do kind of want to go walk around more. I went out earlier and it's like everywhere is a shit show and it's kind of fun to look at. Did you get did you get your milk and bread, dude? I got my chicken and my non bread. 
But is that enough to survive the freeze apocalypse that's I mean, incoming? I it, it over, mean, it's over in like a day or two. What? Or if, like in it? two days, I think it's 70 degrees. Nope. How, how cold is it there right now? Uh, It went down to like 28. It's been cold, Fahrenheit. honestly. But yeah, it's, it's not. It's above back freezing in, now. Back like, in my hometown, apparently over the last week, it was minus 17. I think like two or three months ago, it was fucking way colder. Yeah. What is this Penta guy doing? Well, you guys are uh, good mm. to go unless you're going to try and kill Jitters or have anything else you want to ask uh, the most did boring it, woman. Did it cost anything for me to, to combine those skills? I mean, it cost your choice of that's what you chose and you got one choice. Oh, oh I thought I didn't know if it cost me like fate or anything. No. Okay. That's cool. What's up? Yo, welcome back, man. Thanks. There he is. Welcome Did back, you get bro. frozen and step outside? No, I was looking at my new furniture, and then I went to go look at my trees and got depressed. Hmm. It's dead now. <sighs> yep, it is. It's all fucking dead. Mate, I feel like my skull has expanded. Who are you? Wait, I thought you were pulling it out of your hump. Wait, it was me hump that expanded, mate. <laughs> your hump's always expanding. Dick, why is your hump pulsing like... It always pulses, but more than normal. Yeah, like in a weird way, weirder way. Weird, yeah. You don't see me looking at your humps, Flower T. What the hell does <laughs> that even mean? It's because you got eyes for Mike. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you would have eyes for Dick if he wasn't going for Mike? <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, then why'd you even bring up Mike? Because he doesn't swing this way. Mate, I swing whichever way is convenient. All right. How very open-minded of you. Yeah, mate, I'm progressive, bruv. I think what he hey. meant is he just tries to get what he can. How much fate to have the... Uh... I forget his name, but the, uh, the fucking guy that, like, uh, is, like, the captain of this bunker that we're in. Uh, Captain like Von Smith. Yeah, yeah, how, much <laughs> how much to have him... How much to have him non-existent? Too much. Hmm. And maybe it might not be. I doubt he even tells us a number, or else we're just gonna start, like, listing off every NPC we've met to just see how much they're worth. Uh, but we'd have to know, so we have enough fate. I could do 60. Ooh. That's kind of cheap. We How can much take over the... the stronghold, guys. How much for the troll? Uh, which troll? The troll that ran off with the farmer's wife. We would technically solve the problem. I don't we think... We would technically complete the quest. <clears throat> like... I think since the captain's dead, that's been... That's long gone. Like, yeah, yeah, but but, he's, but he can still be telling other people. Like 30. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. how much for jitters? Uh, more than you can spend. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't give a number for that one. I, I mean, like, I don't think you'd want to, but I think <clears throat> actually I could probably do it for 100. How much for jitters dick? For 100? How Jitter much for dick? How much for Wait. everyone to forget dick? Yeah. Five. I'll do it for free. Fuck 100. you. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, you're as you're as worth it as jitters. Wait, guys, but if we meta game and we make it so no one remembers jitters and jitters is important to the universe, then that means we win the game. Hmm. He could just be a piece, though. Yeah, but he's an important piece and it's only I mean, that, 100. But that that's all, just what he said. This guy looks crazy. If we all pool like 25 fate, like I think jitters is bait. There's no way. Wait, what if we? Oh uh, no, no one. The other knows players have a lot more jitters context than you do. Yeah, I don't know if I should oh. say it though. <laughs> oh, I understand. That. Oh, oh, that. Oh, that's how he's metagaming. I understand. Yeah, yeah. it's from the their previous campaign. He was a character, which well, isn't okay. canon. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna but... meta. I'm gonna meta. I'm gonna meta. Okay. I, I think he's bait too, Penta. I think you're right. Oh, thanks. Accidentally no, he's right. Bait, bro. 
I think he's literally just uh, by happenstance been at places important to us and both I'll of these campaigns. The fucking pistol then. No, <laughs> he's not worth the bullet. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> He's not You'll worth shoot five. the old lady in the back of the head for nothing. But it wasn't didn't... for nothing. Pay attention, you cunt. <laughs> Ooh, busting out the Australian insults or compliments. I still don't understand. It was literally for money that she got shot. He had and a promotion. Nothing. What? Well, do you remember what she was there to do? Yeah. She was what? trying to repair the bridge, and then that bridge was helping people not get the tithe. Right. Yeah, I pay uh, attention. Teeth and canal, but close. I think that we should use it on this uh, captain guy whose name I keep forgetting. Captain Von Smith. He's already almost forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're halfway there. <laughs> I don't think we should, I mean, we should just save all this shit because the alternative is uh, a free death, <laughs> which is pretty nice. Well, we're, we're, we might not come back here, though. We Unless you're mad at gaming. So, <laughs> so let's, run, let's run through the scenario in which we make everyone forget the captain. Okay. Yep. We go back. Mm -hmm. We kill him, presumably. Right? No, I think he oh, just disappears. Murdered. Does no, he just it, disappear? it, it, it doesn't say he disappears. It just says that everyone forgets him. Or he's misplaced, so he could get transported. Even if yeah. he does disappear, there's no assurance that we get to lead the place because we're literally recruits. So who fucking cares about us? It's yeah. It says all memories, including the target, will be replaced or misplaced. That doesn't mean that they're physically going to be teleported somewhere else. So he's still gonna be no. there. Uh. So, but yeah. Anyway, what's your four set? We go and kill that guy. Sure. Okay. Then what? <laughs> then what? Then we they can't pay they, for they, to be the leader. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, but wait, he wait. hates us. <laughs> he I hates us. He how, hates mu work. how much would it cost to make everyone forget about the woman we killed, thus letting us get away with murder? <laughs> I think we already got away with the that. The only person yeah, who cared about that was Radiant Mike, though. I this know, is this what we should this do. This is benefits you. We're helping the homie. Yeah, Why but Radiant we... Mike didn't give a shit. I told uh, him. <laughs> 45. Why don't we just... No, let me ask you this. If we're How going much? that route, why don't we just make everyone forget the guy Chuck murdered? Then Which what, guy? Gonna, the you one, gotta be more the one that started this whole story. The ship, the sh the, the captain's fucking son. Oh, who cares about who, that? Yeah, literally, who cares about that guy? No, but what I'm saying is, we're wanted criminals. According Maybe. to who? Yeah, some troll, some promiscuous troll. Yeah. The She's a troll like, fucker, dude. That troll who, who, that, saw us fucking do it, and then all the people at South going to a boat. No one, ca no one cares. The no one cares when they got away, dude. No one cares what a troll fucker has to say, dude. Yeah, well, that troll's a pervert. Yeah, and so is she. How much? Well, she's dead. How much for the sun, sir? Two fifty. Right. Do we, do we kill <laughs> Two fifty. He's more than jitters. Oh shit, maybe we are wanted. <laughs> we are wanted. Oh shit, hold on, maybe we are. Or well, maybe it's you, Kate. Dude, you're not wanted, Chuck is, bro. <laughs> We're accomplices. How much, how much for the clam god guy? Prophet Avery? Yeah. 50. Oh, he's pausing. Wait, never mind. Why are we even discussing this? We can pull scared. 100 and make someone immune to death. For the same price. <clears throat> yeah, but who? Then that's a whole argument. Me. Well, can we even pool our you faith? Want... Why are you guys assuming we can, can. do that? I said earlier, yeah, in this area, can, only this area you can trade it. You weren't listening! I wasn't. You weren't listening. Okay, well, but follow up. Uh, I'm not pulling my faith with you guys. True. <laughs> He's right. I'm saving it. <laughs> FADC into it's mine. Wow. <laughs> Shit, he got me with that. <laughs> I have to yeah, dash canceling into greed. Kill <laughs> yourself. The, it's it's part of the deal. Hmm. Yeah, if there was like a good, good choice here, like the captain has potential, but everyone knows who we are, so we can't just be like we're the captain now, because they'd be like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're fucking not. <laughs> 
tower. How much for Radiant Mike? <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> he wouldn't care. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, how much for Radiant Mike? It wouldn't work anyway, it, because I would still remember him. Dick would still remember him, so if, like... And he would yeah, remember me. Oh, <laughs> well, he wouldn't remember you. Yeah, he would. It, it says a ritual may be performed, so uh, their existence is completely forgotten. So Dick wouldn't... How would Read the bottom. Is, Read the bottom. The players. Oh, okay. We could literally be lovers, and we would be the only two people in the universe. Or, no. It's the... <laughs> We <laughs> that's fucked up. And he would have to love you. Yeah, he would, he would literally <laughs> have to love my dude. It's well, like that, that one episode. Nice it's like that one episode of It's Always Sunny, where he Holy explains it, his dentist a method. Bit enticing to you now, huh? No. <laughs> like like twenty. If you were gonna it's do only it, twenty, bro. 20 fate for the love of your life? Not worth pass it. pass up on that? Not worth it. Well, I mean, we could just get away with murdering that old lady since she was sent uh, by, like, someone it's like how you guys are literally, like, Radiant Mike has already gone, yeah, I don't care, she's dead. But then so, you guys are saying it's not worth it to do it on the son we murdered. It, it's well, now it might be. I don't know. Look, we'll just cut our hair when we go back. They won't know who we are. Mm. We we'll just change our outfits. Yeah. yeah. Then we'll just get a new. Was, we go back have, in twenty years. Do we even have two fifty fate spread Put on out a fake across mustache. all of us? You can go negative. No. We have like twenty each. You can go negative. No. I got eighty nine. Close to fifty. He has eighty nine. Dick has forty seven, and you have twenty seven. Why do I only have twenty seven? If you guys have that much. Uh, how, did you spend your spell point on anything when we leveled up that one time? You did. That's why yeah, I have a bit more. That's your. That's your answer. I have spells. Well, that's your answer. Dude, the system penalizes spell cost is kind of cringe. Mm. Yeah, you yeah, said penis. Yeah, but you've got I said spells. penalize. I, yeah, I'd say penal, I guess. Yeah. I think we're good, sir. I think okay. we're good. How much for death? Uh, you'd have to know who the person is to even be able to consider it. True. How much for lucky? Uh, didn't someone ask that earlier? No. Fifty. Hmm. Lucky costs more than than yeah. the captain. No. Uh, captain was sixty. Oh. Is there anything else I can help you with before you venture forth? Yeah, mate. What, uh, what are we supposed to do? Whatever you want. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> mate, that's what I've been doing already, mate. Yeah, it mate, just does that. Hey. See you later, bruv. Do you, like, know everything, or...? No, I only hear the whispers, and they're hard to decipher. I've heard a few uh, things, but not enough. Mate, I got a question, bruv. You read? Ever, mate? I'm blind. Oh, all right. Oh, better do Why it. Why are you so insensitive? I'm sorry, mate. I didn't know, bruv. We could it's... kidnap this guy. <laughs> And she wouldn't know. But she knows our presence. She probably has some senses. It's a small room. Where am I at right now? Your feet <laughs> slosh through the water that covers the floor. Her gaze turns and looks directly at you, and jitters <laughs> shifts to the other side of her, scared, holding her up like he's, uh, like she's her mommy, his mommy. Okay, all right. What, what's that under the water? Is that coins? Uh, that's just gravel. It looks a little circular, uh, but it's just normal ground. Okay. And as you look above you... Is this you, magic water? I mean... I mean, it's in the void. That's kind of weird. I'm gonna drink some of this water. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna put some... <laughs> I wanna put some in a container. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna drink some water and see what happens. Did my lunch pack come with, like, a, a water skin or some shit? No. You drank it. Okay, um... Why? 
I have a question, lady. And Chuck, the, the water the water is fresh and delicious. Mmm. Mm. But just water. Pretty good, guys. Pretty what the hell good. was that monstrosity we killed? I don't oh, know. Oh, you're the... Thing? Wing thing? The thing we literally climbed into to get here. Oh, uh, no idea. That's what I'm asking her. I don't know. <clears throat> Is it so, like, th there's some cultists and a bug person that, like, did a ritual and then the bug person killed the cultist and they were surrounded by candles in a circle and then we stepped through the monster to get here. What's with that? Oh, yeah. That's quite interesting. And I wish I knew more. Hmm. They're saying if we ever want to get here, we should just find some weird floating creatures, kill them, and then step inside of them. If you could find one. I'm unaware that anything like that has happened in a long time. <laughs> All right. All right, mate, how we get out of here, then, bro? How the hell do we get out? We just climb? Just walk back out through the wall, the same way you Wait. came in. But Chuck said it burned. It yeah, will hurt. hurt. Oh. Dick, you're going the wrong way. Ah! Oh, gotta go this way. Dick. Oh, Dick. Oh, my Dick. Dick. Ah! Okay. Why do we keep doing stupid shit? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow! Owie! Oh, fuck. Ow. Ow, 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 shit. You know the sea the moat? Every time I see it, I think of Femur Breaker. Like, that's the, that's the noise that's happening. What's Femur Breaker? You've never heard of the Femur Breaker? No. Search that real quick. Femur Breaker. Come on. Nice. You all reappear back where you were. The void that you entered through is gone. Which would place us back uh, on the travel map, deciding which direction that you guys want to go. Oh, yeah. Uh, through the completion of your combat, some of the surrounding area has been revealed. Uh, to the east, things are weird and it starts turning a little bit more into a cave rather than it being like a <laughs> cobblestone sewer the south there is a long passageway and you can tell that it ends quite abruptly and there's something down there but nothing seems abnormal about it and then it's a long passage to the north let's go to the south guys all right bro we don't know where any of these bugs are and we want to make sure our backs are cleared You enter a small, dirty room covered in hay. The room contains several vacant cages and shackles bolted into the wall. Things are a mess, likely from the occupants leaving in a hurry. In a hurry. Some blood trails and hay bedding creates a path that paints the image of prisoners previously dragged out of this room and up to the north. Would you like to search or do anything in particular? Search. searching roll somehow of the entire group the highest awareness is a four <clears throat> and it's me Gilliard notices nothing of relevance guys I think this is just where the prisoners for the the cultists were kept I don't think there's anything here neat I got a question. Yeah. Can I use my fate to re-roll it? No. Okay. Let's move onwards. Unless In some instances, that's a good question, here. but not here. Okay. I was wondering. So in the north we go. We're going.
We're going east. Bro, well, mate. You mean Roy? <laughs> I'm using Cardinal <laughs> to make it easier for the DM. All right. Ooh, combat. You begin traveling down another dark and narrow oh. path. The familiar stone of these passages beneath your feet gives way for a thick and muddy floor, and the constructed cobblestone walls fade into natural cave. The further you go, the humidity from the air dissipates, the temperature drops, and the wet mud becomes hard, chilled ground. A single group okay. of rats follows a safe distance behind the group, kept at a distance by the dragon bones you still carry. Faintly, in the cavern beyond, an undulating cadence, like a large creature breathing. And then you see it, slowly coming into vision as you all approach in formation. You're unable to look away as you try and accept what you're seeing is real, the horrible allure of such a nightmare. A disgusting mass of living flesh writhing subtly amongst the candles which encircle it in a hellish ritual. Hands collectively reach out from the singular pile, grasping at the edges of their confinement, which is established by a lengthy intestine belonging to the same pile that it defines. Ooh. Nice. One moment. I guess we, we know where all the prisoners went. Just so we know, I have like no health. You were we all healed something. as you exited the void. Forgot oh, to mention. Were. W oh, oh. gang. Neat. W crew. My sanity. <laughs> Your sanity <Rare>. decreases. <laughs> ah, uh, for, okay. uh, cool. Flaherty was the only one who took damage and can't stomach the sight of what everyone has come across. Gross. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Assume man is at the front. Yep. Was I supposed to take uh, health damage? Uh, sanity damage. You took it from okay. noticing the colossal pile of writhing flesh and bone. Uh, look at that goop. I think we have to put oh, this I thing out I think I'm going to be sick. If That's you need disgusting. to puke, do it Ugh. in the corner. Just yeah, like the last I thing, I think we just have to get rid of these candles. Hey, can anyone with a bow or something start shooting those candles off? I don't want to step inside of there. What if this time it's different? <laughs> it's surrounded by candles and it's not moving outside of them, though. No, oh, OK, maybe it's not then. Uh, let me make you guys roll something. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Mysticism, boys. Mysticism crew, that's me. <clears throat> Flaherty, Dang. candles aren't an incredibly uncommon thing in rituals, and generally speaking, candles represent... They represent a lot, but I'm going to get to the point of why they're relevant for active rituals. They are kind of like a... They kind of debug a ritual. That if a ritual is made extremely poorly, that the amount of candles you place around it will sort of fix the problems <laughs> with the ritual. So if they are... Still more candles on it. They are making it stable by surrounding it in this way. But sometimes something being stable can be a good thing. Hmm. Yeah. Candles are used okay. for shoddy or hastily put together like this. But yeah, sometimes so... the candles are good because without the candles, chaos. Right. So perhaps, um, perhaps we, we leave them. We don't want this thing suffering and we got to clear this place out. But perhaps the alternative is worse. What, what leaving this Whoa. thing alive? Yeah, we're or just gonna, is it dealing with a, it as is and not something? disturbing, not just not All disturbing right. the candles, you know? How do we deal with it then? Well, burn it for one. All right, light it on fire then. Okay. Hey, I got one of these. Take a Molotov. It. <laughs> I can't make a fire. What Throw you a fire bomb. Me? 
Well, I did update your Molotov, by the way, and it's targeted now. You don't have to throw it six tiles. Oh, cool. I want to throw it at the goop, and I can't target the goop. Okay, let me, uh... Let me work through some shit. <sighs> Alright. Boss suddenly becomes targetable for you. <laughs> what would Radiant Mike, th Mike think of this pile? You know, I, I think he'd really want us to orgy on it. And this is yeah. pretty filthy, huh? Radiant's Mike, the words Radiant Mike spoke to you before you left <laughs> that he kept repeating feel relevant at this time as you think back <laughs> to it. He kept saying, what if you just let it happen? What if you just <laughs> let it be? That's a good point. Is Dick gonna go, wait, don't throw the Molotov yet. Oi, mate. Yeah. <laughs> don't throw it yet, bro. Okay. I don't. What? <laughs> Why not? Chug. Wow, he actually listened. I Boys. thought you were gonna go, okay, and then throw it. When I was talking to Radiant Moik, he said this exact thing would happen, bro, and that I should let it happen, bro. What, let, let what happen? Well, because, let happen. Be, become one, mate. Uh, get like, in there then, I guess. Uh, listen. Wait, are you just gonna lay down in it? Mates. Mm. Dick. I want Dick. Chuck to have begun. <laughs> Dick, no. All right. I mean, I'm gonna hold on to it, you know, in case, you know, and then he's just gonna say. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why, why are you even listening to this guy so much? Uh, because I ain't got nothing, mate. I ain't got fucking nothing, dick. Mate, I ain't got nothing. I'm gonna die. I ain't got no family. We're all gonna die someday. All right, go die then. Dick, dick crosses follow, the barrier. Follow your heart. And inside your body, you can feel a strange gravity, like a pulling. Like you feel completely uncorrect. Even worse than the dragon bones they've been covering, uh, carrying around and making your skin tingle. This makes it feel as though the gravity is both up and down. The pit of your stomach is turning. <laughs> Like your head's being pulled to the ceiling and your feet are stuck to the floor. But apparently you're happy to climb amongst the carrion and strange growing pustules. Dick rolls around. Nice. Is Dick just a dog? At the speed of sound. Oh. He's a self-hating dog. It's like reincarnated. <laughs> That time I got reincarnated as a dick. Mmm. Wait. Mate. You you feeling good in there or? He uh, uh, kind of babbles. He can't talk. Dak, if it feels wrong, we just see and we'll get you. You out. can just leave. Uh, 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 I think you should throw the <laughs> Molotov. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, as you're rolling around unheard by anyone else in the room as you dig into the filth of the pile a hand grabs you as you roll across and your face is pointing down oh. and a head peers out from inside the pile and whispers into your ear the awakening must happen <laughs> whoa <laughs> <laughs> You must protect us. We can't protect ourselves. Well, that makes sense. Dick. Yeah, mate. Are you are you finished or? Who's going next, mate? <laughs> I don't think I, I'm not going. I, I don't think anybody uh, else is going. How how do you feel? Feel all right, mate. All right, you can throw the Molotov. No, man. hold on, mate. Listen. Special request, bro. <laughs> what? Listen, mate. All right, I'm going to tell you, I, I ain't a lawyer, bro. Okay. I was a lawyer. Law, lawyer. 
Oh. All right. What? Okay. Listen, mate. When I was rolling around in the bodies, bruv, one of the hands grabbed me face and made me look down in the pile. And this face looked up at me and it said, mate, protect us, mate. The awakening must happen, bruv. So what you're telling me is a, a, a jumbled mess of human corpses is asking you to keep it alive. Yeah, my it can't protect itself, bro. Well, and well, why perhaps... should we do that? Oh, mate, it's not hurting anyone. It's... We we literally have to clear out this dungeon. Yeah, my let's just cave it in, bro. Say there's a rock. We're fall. we're not we're not gonna get paid. So, no one's gonna find this shit, bro. What do you mean? This thing smells absolutely fucking terrible. There's let's rats everywhere. Let's cave it in. Pretty bad. Just cover it up with rocks, mate. <laughs> One of you needs to light this thing on fire. Don't, don't chalk. Listen. Don't. When has, when has anyone saying stop doing something ever stopped you from just murdering someone? Chuck, who, who held hands with you, bro, from the way back, mate? Laherty, you, you know, the, you know what you have to do, all right? Look, I think you're both right. I feel like we do have to deal with it to get paid, but also perhaps we can just do the rest and come back at the end. That way it buys Dick some time, yeah, Dick? Time for what? For the awakening or whatever he's trying to do. You go ask them a what that even means. Is the awakening a good thing? I don't think it's a good thing. Bye. Listen. Are we burning this thing? Yes. Hey. Chuck, no, we ain't. All right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. All right, listen. We's come back at the end, mate. See how it is. All right, so when we get back, we're burning it. No, mate. We're going to look at it, mate. And I'm maybe. At it. It, it needs to be burned. Dick lifts the back of his shirt as he's talking. And we'll pop a back postural into the filth pile. Oh. <clears throat> Are you sure you're a human? Look, <laughs> for the sake of appeasing you both, let's leave it for now and come back later. And then if it's if we got clean it, we'll clean it. Wait, Flaherty, you said candles are for debugging, right? Can we just attach one to Dick's forehead? Well, that's not a ritual. He's just uh, some yeah, fucked he has up to being. Be a ritual. There's no <laughs> way. No, he's more of a, just a living curse. My, my, I could hear. I could hear you, my. Well, I know, Dick. It's not an insult. You are the way you are. But I'm just saying. I don't think a candle will help. Mate, oh, get it. Won't you step into the filth pile, mate? Why the fuck would I step into that? It felt. You ever been drunk before, mate? No. Oh, well, I ain't, I ain't got any point of reference for you, mate, but when I became one with the poil, I felt me feet on the ground and me head in the ceiling, mate. Why the hell would I want to feel that? Because uh, sometimes fantasy is better than reality, mate. Ain't you got any pain you want Dick, to escape? Dick, th that is a pile of dead bodies. No, mate. It's, it's alive. It's living, mate. That is not a living creature. Yes, it is, bro. Well, maybe if we throw a Molotov and it screams, I'll believe you. Mate, well, we can, would, it's breathing, mate. Why you can would hear Dick it. lie? Yeah, mate, I ain't never lied. There's a very simple way we can see Dick's point of view. Just get in there. If why it's alive, you you'll know. For me. Chuck. Well, I'm not the one that needs convincing. It's you. Chuck, do it, mate. I need I someone I to see what I saw, mate. I don't care if it's alive. I need that thing to I die. I go in. <laughs> this guy's going in. Chuck feels the same thing that Dick felt. A weird sense of gravity. Arms oh. and flesh all, like, sort of rubbing up against you and grabbing you. Are you, like, fully rolling in it? I'm rolling, baby. Um... <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Chuck, Chuck's Ooh. mind holds fast against the disgusting thing he has decided to do for unknown reasons. I did it for the RP. <laughs> yeah, we know. We know. Mate, you see what I mean? Oh, did I hear? I didn't hear anything. Did I just felt? Uh, no, nothing spoke to you. You just felt and looked disgusting and you smell awful. And it was... It was... A disturbing experience again that you somehow good, okay. you held together uh like literally like a pile of corpses <laughs> yeah i don't know what the hell you're talking about dick <laughs> mate mate it's alive mate all right we need to burn this thing talk don't do you, it you have to be crazy mate i will never I you will, lied to me and made me do that you sick fuck throw mate. a firebomb <laughs> oh I, i'm never going to forgive you bro if you throw a fucking fireball i'm mate. not gonna forgive you for this there's nothing in there <laughs> look let's just come back perhaps dick <laughs> will feel differently later it's not the, worth fi the fire the firebomb has been thrown oh my oh, god did you really fuck. throw it oh shit yeah. I did. Psych. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm willing to put it up to a vote. Let's just come back. We we can vote later. <laughs> Dick votes no. <laughs> There's no point in falling out over a pile of bodies. Chill fuck, what do you want to do? I say we don't. I mean, <laughs> we don't have to deal with it right now. All right, All well, right, fuck we're it, moving then. on then. I mean, I guess. It, but what if this is some sort of ritual? Well, fuck it. Fuck it. Dick blows the people a, have spoken. Dick blows a private kiss to the flesh pile and backs <laughs> out of the room. You're lucky I don't have fire. Truth be told, I'm so fucking disgusted by that thing. I don't even want to approach it to burn it. It continues to undulate and breathe all as one, slowly growing closer as it grasps towards its own intestine that defines the circle. Let it be, I suppose. And you guys are continuing on. Confirming? Yeah. Confirm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I'm the leader. Lead on. Did you like the femur breaker? Yeah, it was perfect. I told you it encapsulate it can encapsulate encapsulates that emote. Did I say that even right? I don't know. Encapsulate. Kappa. Golden Kappa check. Kappa. Encapsulate. Where would we like to go? North. That's weird. That it's not seeings. Yeah, I got it. You fixing it? There's a north and an east again. East. <laughs> north. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> West. <laughs> What's the point of that? <laughs> it's a cave. It's a cave, man. I search for a secret passage. He searches for a secret passage. Can't can't find shit. Everyone, <laughs> there's no way this is just a circle. They've had to have dug something out. Help me are look. We, are we in a natural cave formation? It this area, every the only part that's more of a natural cave formation is where you found the giant flesh pile that you guys uh, were conflict conflict avoidant about. Yeah. Um, everything else is cobblestone sewer. So, okay. like, they are man-made sort of paths slab. that are extremely narrow. Dick will get down on all fours and begin searching. There has to be some sort of slab or something, guys. Uh, can you roll awareness? Where's me character, bruv? Oh, uh, shit, I got it. You're still at the filth pile. Where the filth, man? Dick searches around and is unable to find anything. He does, does find help? well, he's he, unable to find anything related to it being uh, a secret entrance. 
But amongst the pile of rubble and his ability to not care to roll around in filth, he digs into a small pile of disgusting vial and pulls mm-hmm. out a a scrolled up tiny little like notepad piece of paper, quite small, and there is a rat tail tied around the center of it to keep it closed. Opens it. Nice. Um I don't know if you have any relevant social checks to be able to identify uh, writing or (laughs) mysticism. Uh, So you open up the thing immediately and take a look at some writing on a notepad. Your mind holds up, but you know this is some occult bullshit. Mate, I found me some writing, mate. Secret secret writing, mate. That's not a hidden passage. I know, mate. I couldn't find it. Man, I worked up a sweat, though, bro. Well, it is a passage, but not one that you can walk I, through. Does anyone else want to help us? Or I'm, like, I'm still looking. Yeah, fine. What do you want? This has to be some secret passage or something here. White Chalk, you want to? Can you read this to me, mate? <laughs> nice try. Well, Readers, well, so am I right? Alfred <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Gilead, give it over to me. Is it awareness? Oh, Roy, <laughs> mate. Yeah, it's awareness. <laughs> Dick dabs away his sweat with the dead rat that he picked up and has been keeping in his coveralls. <laughs> nice dab. Flaherty does not notice anything. I can't see anything, Gilead. There There's has to be here. something. There's no way there is. Why? I'm just... Why? Well, Why I'm going to happen- read this thing real quick. There's no way they just have a circle. This guy's unhinged. I read the rat parchment. <clears throat> you take a look at the rat parchment with the intention to read it. Your eyes stumble upon ancient symbols, but none of it is actually anything that uh, you could read. Uh, he oh, just that... missed the how to become a dragon passage of it. Too bad. No. Your sanity weakens and you don't really understand what you're looking at. Because these symbols are not proper literature, they're more occult symbology and uh, ritualistic in nature. What the hell did you make me look at that? I don't know, buddy. Throw that, throw that thing back in the, the pile or the sludge or whatever you found it from. Dick holds out his hand. do anything. Then takes the note back, and then we'll put yeah. it in his coveralls. You're gonna freaking keep that thing? Yeah, mate. For what? I'm gonna hold someone at gunpoint and make him look at it, mate. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> All right. If no one else is gonna look for the secret passage, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, There's get, no I... secret passage. There is. Uh, can I look for a secret passage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here, everyone has stopped at this point. You're the last one. Okay. I don't think Chuck has looked, so... No, I haven't. Killfuck, with his glasses on, he adjusts them on his head, looks around, and just sees a bunch of cobblestone walls. It's... It's just a... It's just a hallway. If only we had someone that knew where to find secrets. Let's continue on east. Wait. Yeah, let's go east. (laughs) Go, go. Go, go. Having been riled up, and everyone's still on the lookout for secret passages, Killfuck, (laughs) as you continue walking down the hallway and gets a little bit closer, thinks he might actually see one. Um, There's a a strange, like, uh, a seam where all of the cobblestone in one spot lines up exactly correctly. Hmm. Um. Friends, I, I think I found something. What? Oh. Uh, some kind of passage <sighs> that we weren't meant Where? to see. Uh, he'll point it out. So a secret passage. I walk well, over. I, if you want to call it that, yes. <laughs> a little on the nose. How do we get in? I Just don't go know. In. I didn't build it. I'll just start pushing slabs. 
You start pushing on it, and a passageway appears to open up. We found it. I knew there was no reason for there to just be a random circle. We're going north. All right. Well, it's decided. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hey, what's that? No matter. Do, do you not think that we perhaps just power game the shortcut? <laughs> there simply power wasn't gaming. one here before. I'm adventuring. <laughs> power adventuring. <laughs> At the end of the short hallway that you travel down, there is a a shelf with just a couple of small things on it. There is a candle, though unlit, in the end of this dark hallway, a skull, and a book. I go to for the book. Man, always Reader. with the books. And I put it in my brain. Wow. You place the book inside of your brain instantly. Every, your party watches you lift a book off the shelf and push it into the front of your forehead. Yeah. Cool. What the f- What did you just do? <laughs> the void lady gave me this ability. What? Me, An empty me too, head? Mike. Me too. Look. And then he puts the note that he picked up earlier into his hump. Yeah, but that's your hump. That's his head. Cool. I can get, that's pretty I can, cool. It's a storage of my mind. Well, I didn't realize you lacked a brain to have space to put things in there. No, it's Talk not. It doesn't actually exist. It's in. It's in the void. What do you mean? Talk about a mind. It's in the void. All right. Well, has anybody else got any forsaken truths that they got from the <laughs> void lady that they want to share? Me hump, uh, mate. I got this ring. That's a bit more normal, I suppose. Um, I when I suplex people, I get stronger. Well, how do you know that? <laughs> I just, something I feel. Oh, I don't think I, I got anything, if I'm honest. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sounds like right. a personal problem. Let's all look around this room for anything else. Dick, you want to roll around with the skull or something? Turns of that stuff. Dick touches the skull. You and all look around, Dick. and it's nothing else in the room uh, except for Dick caressing an old skull in a corner. Kisses it. You want to <laughs> take that candle and bring it to your f flesh pile? Yeah, mate. He takes the candle and puts it in his hump, and it makes the. <laughs> <laughs> Can it make the the home improvement sound when you put something in there? Uh, <laughs> does reading the title of a book make you crazy? Does what? Reading the title of a book make you crazy? If it has a title, yeah. It's all writing. What did the book look like? As I was putting it in my head. Uh, sort of a, a hard book cover, but really thin. It doesn't have very many pages. Some of the pages poking out of the sides. Some significant water damage to it, so it's all stained and brown uh the cover is you most covers in myriad are not like elaborate things that you're you know because they are sort of more designed for protecting people from immediately looking at the words contained within so it's just a a blank blue cover all right, no. all right let's head out to the south away we go damn he didn't even have to he knew he freaking knew I know. You come down this part of the hallway to a rather quickly thrown together blockage where it feels like a lot of the furniture that you've seen that was dragged around earlier has ended up here to prevent people from going any further down this route. So it is a large pile of every single like rock and piece of furniture and random just oh. wet wood and stuff shit. like that. Yeah, just yeah. shit. Just someone just laid one shit on it. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's push through. Do we need a shovel for this? Uh, Dick's got two good hands. <laughs> yeah, you could like Dick. uh pole arm it out with like your swords and stuff like that and dislodge it. It wouldn't take too much effort. It would just take time. Sure. Uh, help me clear this thing up, guys. Ah. Uh... So I knew you weren't going to help. 
<laughs> He'll fuck will start picking up the bigger rocks that look like it'll be easier for him. Oh, whoops. That's music. That's not muscle. Highest music roll. Zero. Nice. It takes some time, even with Killfuck's help and his gigantic, sexy muscles sweating in the darkness. Um, <laughs> but after about 10 minutes or so, you're able to clear it and able to continue forward. Uh, Let's go. After having cleared a bit and spending some time on this, Gilliard, the most observant boy on every single one of these, notices mm. that there is some writing on the wall that he is not going to be able to place inside of his head. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I feel like I need to look at this, but my mind's already been hurt from the thing Dick had me read. You want to help me out here, Chuck? Oh, well, I mean, what do you want me to do? Read? Yes. Oh, I know you can do it. I I hate it. Yeah. Is there anyone here who actually doesn't read? Me, mate. Me, me too. I can't read. I'm a literate, mate. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll right. read, but so I don't just... want you guys to look at me while I do it. So it's all just right, the two. Look. look. Everyone, turn right. around. Let Chuck read it by himself. <laughs> all right. All right. I, I wait till they're all not looking. I don't need to I turn read. around. I can't bloody read it. I don't. I don't want you to watch me read. <laughs> Why not? You can't watch oh, a guy when he's reading. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that, that I can do this. It's like if just you don't. walk in while someone's reading, then they can't keep going. They have to stop. It's just weird. Oh, you big baby! She'll turn around. Good work. Chuck takes a look at the wall, and it's I'm so good at it too. I hate it. It's definitely something a little bit mystical and weird, and you're not 100% sure exactly what it does, even with a high roll in literacy, because it's more related to mysticism. But you're able to understand that this may actually be why the rats are here in the first place, and that this blockage made so that you can't walk out seems to have also, in some way, be trying to prevent rats from leaving. Hmm. Yeah, it says we should go back and take a nap. Wait, really? Well, like us? Of time then? Yeah. Like, like us on. specifically. Wait, wait, hold on. What? It says something about rats and blockage. I don't know. Well, it's a good thing we have these dragon bones then. <laughs> Let's keep yep. going. Okay. Uh, but I don't know. I think that maybe, just maybe, this shit wasn't here to keep us out, but to keep something in. So, you're saying we should remake the blockade as we go past? Probably. All right, yeah. Gilpuck, you know what to do. Uh, are you sure? I read, I yes. already did my part. Oh, okay. We'll walk uh, past and then remake it again. Again? Again. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got pretty lucky. As you go to make it, you start putting things together. And a large, gigantic uh, rat is coming down the hallway from this direction. However, due to you picking up the dragon bones earlier, this random encounter is avoidable. And it doesn't seem to want to push any further as you slowly build up the blockade to cover uh, its path. As well as the, uh, the apparent rat blocking sigil being on the wall. Nice. Uh, Saved by bones. So you are successfully able to re-block the blockade. I'll wipe my hands of a job well done. Let's go. All right, mate. <laughs> I was going to shoot that rat, mate. I forgot any closer, bruv. Good job. I always know you're ready to use that gun. For yeah. better or for worse. Yeah, mate. Have you ever thought? Never mind. <laughs> you find yourself reaching the end of the sewer. This actually light starts to starts to peer through uh, a small grate that you can move aside, and you recognize that you are at the bottom of the hill beneath the castle of the Fort Ages. Oh, oh, look at that! 
so you could freely walk back up to the castle or uh, dig through shit again. I think... Well, mate, we're all done here, mate. Mate, no. we're all no. done. Job no. well done, mate. No. No. There's, there's the some end. stuff There's some stuff we missed in there. Whoa, we're going to go back the other way. It, oh, which oh. way, mate? Well, you know from the start where we first went in? Yeah, all there's right. That, there's that one room we didn't check, and then there's that other room with the light. We need to fix that as well. Then Why we also need to burn that flesh. No, mate. No, 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 yeah. mate. Yeah, yes. We could just say that we cleared it out and we could just move on to the next thing and make more money no we have to finish clearing that place out and burn that flesh pile okay mate. why don't we why don't we vote mate just do it for me bro what do have it you done for me for Nick. look I, I won't ever ask you for anything ever again bro just let it be wouldn't be the I first will, time I listen i'll Nick. let you keep that thing alive if you promise me not to murder anyone else without the consent of the party. All right, deal. Yeah. That means you also have to control Chuck. I can't do that, mate. Well, it looks like we're burning the flesh oh, pile. Galliard, that's a what trick. You, you can't have him control yeah. Chuck. Yeah. Nobody, fire, nobody can control Chuck. He's full of shit. Listen, I need this party to I stop murdering things. You guys, me. If we, if we are so gonna control. have random <laughs> murders in this party, I am not letting a flesh pile live. Okay, right. but then strike a deal it's with not Chuck. not alive. Look. What is what is wrong how, with you? How how am I the one that sounds crazy here? Where right. everyone's fine with us randomly murdering people. Right, it wasn't and random. Guys and I, but there right. is a corpse, a flesh pile, a writhing demonic flesh pile. Yeah. It's just a pile of bodies. In, it's not uh, alive. I was in it. Fine. That's fine. Well, well, well what do you want to do? Burn it. Get rid Why? Of it. It's just dead bodies. Who cares? Why do you murder people without a problem? Those are alive bodies. That's different. Mate, I ain't never killed no one without a reason, mate. Right. It's disliking so them the a reason. reason. <laughs> what's the reason of keeping this flesh pile alive? What, why mate, would we uh, burn dead bodies? It doesn't make sense. Mate, listen. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna sound crazy, bruv, all right? But you gotta trust me, mate. I ain't crazy, mate. Mm. Radiant I'm Mike. We take Radiant Mike to that flesh pile and you kill Radiant Mike and he lands on the flesh pile. Well, this sounds like, whoa, what's... What yeah, I, actually, what? mate, listen, let's you take... You know, for someone who is not okay with murder, you seem to be suggesting a wee little bit, don't you? just trying to mate. see how his mind worked. If he well, just mate. instantly said yes, I knew where he would be at. Mate, mate. We should take him down there, though, bruv. All right, let's go get Radiant Mike. We'll clear out the rest of the dungeon, and then we'll go back to the flesh pile. I ain't killing him, though, mate. Unless he asked me to, in which case I will kill him, mate. I think he might. <laughs> I think he might. Let's go get Radiant Mike, then. <laughs> hmm. We're going to Radiant Mike. Yep. Radiant, Radiant Mike makes kill fuck uncomfortable. Well, you Good. can not talk to him. No, no, no. That's that's just a character. That's just oh, okay. like. No, he makes Flatsy uncomfortable as well. Don't worry. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just a little insight into his brain. Uh, you guys return up to the castle, and you're not exactly sure where Radiant Mike is. Uh, Lucky is in the room above you, where Radiant he often Mike. is. Radiant Mike. Hey, you, you know where that Mike guy is? Yeah. Aging Radiant Mike. I was just looking for uh, that, Mike. that weirdo that was in here. Uh, he yeah, left. Right. Yeah, he went out north already. Oh. oh. Well. Oh, he left without you, Dick. Yeah, he said he had important business, had to definitely leave right away. You should have banged him while you had the chance. Are there insight checks in this? Uh, not really. Mm, so I just have to think if he's lying or not. Uh, awareness would help, but it doesn't help very much unless something is pretty obvious. Gotcha. Uh, you know, role play and all that. Yeah. Did anything what? happen to him? Are you sure he just left? Yeah, as soon as you guys went down to the basement again, 
It seemed like he turned the other way, said he had to go up north. Did he say hmm. why or did he just leave? Because yeah, I don't want to talk to the guy who freaks me out. Wait, yeah, like, thank cool. you! Finally! Cool. Mate, you, I don't know why y'all don't like Radium Mike. I didn't say I didn't like him, he just makes me uncomfortable. He makes me comfortable, mate. That's fine, I'm so I and I love that for you. His yeah. doughy doughy cheeks. <coughs> Lucky, I have a I have a thought experiment. Uh so you know how we're tasked to clear out the dungeon, right? Yeah, that was so tall. Say there was a giant flesh pile that was probably from some ritualistic thing where a bunch of people oh. died. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is a little bit too oh, specific okay. to be theoretical. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's all hypothetical. Oh, it's it's all hypothetical. Hold on. So say that existed. Oh, down there. Oh, oh, what would oh. happen if it was just left? Oh, down listen, there? listen. All a good judge of character, all right? That looking white guy is a fucking weirdo, and so is Gilead. This guy was trying to show me his book the other day, yesterday. Had his what? knife out, trying to hand me dragon what? bones. He did. He tried to read. I don't know where yeah. you got this book, where the librarians got a screw loose giving you one. Because oh, well, that right explains weirdo. all these delusions of grandeur he's coming up right, with. He, this guy, he's I, lost his mind. He, he said he was going to go fly around in the sky. Yeah. What? Listen, I think you guys got this a real problem crazy. here. I think we gotta get rid of this man. Listen, no, we to the I... down there. Uh, maybe he <laughs> just needs the map. Okay. There was no void. There's no flesh pile. It's all, you know, we took care of the well, uh, gutter folk. Hypothetically, then, you should fucking destroy it. The void? Oh, oh my. The what? The void. What are we talking about void now? I said we went there. Oh, wait. okay. This man, I'm going to have to tell the. I'm sorry. You know, the captain lucky, needs he got to know. hit with a club in the head pretty hard down there with the really hard. Butter, no, like, lucky, we've been doing it. Right. Really we've been doing a lot of scrapping down there, and he got hit in the head a wee bit. This, He's not quite thinking straight, okay? This is some classic insanity. I've seen it before. I'm not insane. That's what you would say, isn't it? Do you, you want me to prove how we went to the void, Lucky? <laughs> right, I, if you can prove it, maybe I don't know if that make it any better. <laughs> Gilead will reach into his head and take out that blank. Holy oh, shit! You fucking you bonkers, what? mate! You're fucking mad. Gilead, they're what? gonna kill us. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? They're gonna lying. kill us. I don't lie. What they did you pull out back. of your head? The the blankless one. I found the book, the hidden book. This guy's got fucking books in his head. <laughs> I mean, that's where they go after you read them, right? He'll put the he'll put the book back in. <laughs> no, none of you, none, none of you think this is weird. Well, they're all there with me. Mate, I see some shit, bro. All right, <laughs> nothing is real no more, mate. Uh, yeah, all, all right. All right, everything's cool then. Yeah. All right. Okay, there was a void. There was a bit of a void. <laughs> he starts sweating and playing along with you guys, realizing he's cornered in a room with maniacs. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess Rainy and Mike is in here. We're going to go clear the rest of the dungeon, all right? Or the sewer, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about, you know, take as much time as you need. Dick walk pa walks past Lucky. and kind of like, <laughs> he spins his gun a little bit and then like oh. turns to him suddenly. And like points it at him. <laughs> <laughs> and then keeps walking, keeps walking. Oh my god. Uh, Lucky. Uh, I admire you, okay? Your ability to dodge death so many times, it's its fascinating to me, right? Don't worry about those guys. Well, maybe we're. I'm not going to hurt you, but Gilliard, that guy's unhinged. Why do you also, like, you know. Do you Dick not is. Dick feel, also has a gun. Do you not feel unsafe going down there? So now that I think about it, I'm really adding everything up. No, I shouldn't say. Say it. <laughs> Go on. Where, where isn't Dick also like rolling his honk on his back? Yeah, he uh, rolling his what? He calls it his honk when he throws oh. up. Oh, right. I, well, uh... I, I fed him sandwiches. I see him spit it right up and rub it into his back. 
Uh, he found a uh, new thing. It's void water <laughs> and um, mass graves is what he's into rolling on I'll, his I'll, back now. I'm not sure you guys are the ones that, that should be dealing with this. Chuck, I know that you're the most sane one going down there compared to the rest of them. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Flag, she, she seems like she knows what's going on, but you can't just, <laughs> you can't just play along with all this insanity, right? Well, um, you know, we did speak to a being and they kind of just said that we should do whatever we want. And, uh, <laughs> that's what we've been doing. And we were, we were doing that. Oh, I thought you were well, what, what about the chain of command? You don't want to be in the age of sword chain anymore. Of the, well, I mean, well, all we were told was to clear out the basement. I mean, if there's ritualists down there, I mean, we haven't really done anything oh, against what, the chain of command. What made you come back up before you destroyed it? We found the exit. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of this isn't adding up. I'm sorry. Oh, well, no, we went in and we killed everything we could. And then we found the exit and we exited. And you can put books inside your head. I am going to be honest. I don't know how the fuck he did that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Chuck, I, I don't, I don't mean to sound, but do, do you think we should put him down? <laughs> Gilliard? The, the man is absolutely <clears throat> bonkers. No, we can't. It's too early. It's... Let's just say Gilliard is my little project. He doesn't know <laughs> it, okay. but he is. <laughs> All right, that's a... Okay, then I guess your judgment on this is... Oh, hello, Flaherty. Um, come on, Chuck. We got to address the flesh pile and the void and stuff. Right. Uh, Lucky, maybe just avoid Gil... Just don't be in a room with Gilliard alone. I'm trying, uh... I'm trying not to be... Uh, Flaherty, can I have a word? <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, you got okay. any more of those lunches? Uh, no, man. What is it? Oh, fuck you, Lucky. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, How are you, Lucky? Are you doing uh, okay? <laughs> he'll he'll hush Flaherty as, as far back as he can away oh. from the door and, and looks to the door What's and make sure on? no one's listening. Is there anything going all right down there? I think you're surrounded by occultists. I that sneakily a, tries to listen. There's a wee bit of occultism down there, if I'm honest with you. Wee <laughs> bit. <laughs> Are you literally all at the door? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not at the door. Dick, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be sneaky. Dick, I don't think he's. Uh, can you do that? The the what's that one movie with the two kids standing in the hallway and they're like play with us? That's what the Dick's shining dog. Yeah, the shining. The shining. Yeah, he's shining right now. Okay, <laughs> and, 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 anyone who's shining. Like one of them little bitches from the shop. <laughs> can you roll subtlety to see if you actually are staying hidden and awareness to see if you can hear them? He has a hard time Fuck. whispering because of his mouth. Uh, yeah, dog. She's she's also has a hard time whispering because she's a fucking loud mouth. Subtlety and awareness. Yeah. <laughs> um, based on the rolls, Dick is in str in plain view and he can't hear anything. <laughs> He's like putting a finger in his ear, trying to get earwax out, and he thinks he eats it. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> waxy uh however he does not see chuck it seems like he may re react a little bit stronger if he saw chuck but dick seems oh, surprisingly he's the, not even less than luck. The, he's the just most harmless <laughs> all right can, uh, he's chill. Can I hear? Aye, between you and me there is a wee bit of a cult going on down there that's all just a wee i think nothing we can't handle though uh chuck can hear like every other word okay well i think that's your role well, you're like a you're like a cleric, right? Uh, I suppose. Oh yeah, fire and all that, right? You, you, we've seen you summon fire with the the, the giga bear. Giga bear. Aye, aye, I can do a wee bit of fire, and it can mend wounds. I I hate to streak out of line as I'm just you know lowly provision master, but do you not see anything wrong with your companions that they may need to be placed inside of a holy flame? Well, I think when you've endured what they've endured and seen what they've seen, you're a little bit loopy. But they're a sound of mind. Well, they're not a, not a danger to any of us, then. Oh, to only themselves. 
and, and perhaps me and not if I keep traveling with them. Not to any like old women that went down to the basement with you. Oop. Old women? And I oop. Well yeah, I, you, you no. said you went down there to show her around. I we bit unfortunate what happened to her. Just proves how dangerous it is down there. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, I see how it is then. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Lucky, you've got nothing to worry about, okay? And we'll be done in a jiffy. Oh, you know that isn't true. <laughs> the first bad thing that happens is going to happen to me. Already did. <laughs> Your name is Lucky. You're the luckiest one here. If anything happens to you, you'd be okay. Oh, I won't feel okay. lucky when I see all my friends slaughtered and I'm the only survivor. Look, that as long as I'm there, <laughs> okay, they're not going to be slaughtered. Unless you mean the people up here, because I can't imagine you're very good friends with like Dak and such. So perhaps you're not even talking about us and I've read the situation wrong. He pointed his gun at me. Look, <laughs> he points his gun at everybody. You look if if he looks, he's holding his gun out <laughs> like like an old cowboy, <laughs> just staring into the room. Well, look at him down there, isn't that disturbing? He puts Lucky it away. Sweetie, half the time he's pointing his gun in his own face. <laughs> he keeps uh, looking down the barrel like he's lost something. <laughs> I, I don't understand you guys. How could he even learn to use a device like that and be so deranged? Well, uh, uh, perhaps he's been chosen. Chosen by who? A higher power. I don't <laughs> know, Lucky. I don't have the answers for you, sweetie. Okay, and I have to get going. <laughs> All right. So You'll just... be fine. She gives him like a heavy slap on the shoulder. Oh, please keep your eye open. Uh, there's a lot of signs I feel you're missing. <laughs> Lucky sweetie, if there were signs, I think I'd see them. Right, <laughs> off we go then. <laughs> Very good luck then to you. I hope the basement's dealt with soon. It sounds awful she'll down there. Him. She'll like look at Dick, who's just pointing his gun at her. Dick, put your gun down, sweetie, okay? So, sorry, mate. I was trying to intimidate him. Who? Lucky. Oh, Lucky? Yeah. Oh, he's terrified of you. <laughs> he pissed himself, mate. I could smell piss, but I couldn't really tell if it was because you'd been over there before <laughs> or if it was him. Do you know what I mean? It's probably me, mate. What happened? I had to pee. You know, Me Dick. too, mate. <laughs> you know, Dick, uh, I would say that you can't go around pointing your gun at everybody, but it's actually worked out pretty well for us so far. So <laughs> you keep doing whatever it is you want to do. I think we should listen to the... Whatever the fuck it was, the void, we should just do whatever we want. Guys, we're going I... back. Let's go. All right. I don't, I don't want, hold on, hold on, hold on. First off, okay. fuck you. <laughs> okay. That's a wee bit. Uh, you, can't just, you can't just say what we're doing. Why not? Uh, because cool. we, because we are, we have free will. So in, I have free his, will to say what I want. In Gellio's defense, Chuck, he's been saying it this whole time, and this is the first time you've objected. Well, now that we're someplace with witnesses, <laughs> I'm Wait, putting my foot down. Are you ashamed <laughs> of what you do or something? What do you mean, ashamed? I'm just saying, you're just saying we're going back. What if we don't want to go back? There's other shit we got to do. Why don't we just go do that and make yeah. more money? Like clear out the rest of the dungeon. It's cleared out, man. No, there are things we've forgotten. No, there's not. Like what? The rest of the dungeon. Like what? Name and one the thing. Flesh pile. The flesh pile is what there's do you the what room, do you... There's the room to the right of where we enter that we didn't check. There's the room with the light peering through that we didn't check, and there's the flesh pile. Oh my god. I okay. I'm just that's gonna throw three, it out that's there. Three things. I say that we've spent too much time on this fucking basement. Let's do, there's like two other things we gotta do. As he's talking. Let's go do those things and make more money. Mate. 
I gotta protect yeah. the flesh pile, mate. Ugh. Guys, listen, I won't ask for nothing else, mate. Okay, hold on. You, hold wait, on. You, you can't let him destroy it, mate, please. Listen, Dick, if he goes down there, he is going to destroy it. That's what he just said. He can't do it himself, mate. He ain't got no way to burn it, mate. So then let's not go. <laughs> Just let him go down there then. Well, I don't want him to die. Well, do you want the flesh pile or do you want Gilliard? Well, you two are the ones with the fire, mate. Just don't right. set it on fire when he asks you to, bro. What if he tries to kill us? He's crazy. I'll shoot him, he, mate. You just said you don't want him to die. Well, if he attacks you, mate, then I'll shoot him, mate. Okay. Okay. But I think he's going to. All right. Well. He'll kill me, and then you'll remember me fondly, and I won't have to suffer <laughs> life anymore, mate. Maybe if we just don't go with him, he'll realize how much of an asshole he's being. I could have oh, like this. I, 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 I like that he says we're going here, mate. I like the big, strong, I firm don't. hand of... I decide what other people do <laughs> with Some mind control. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we just need a good sense of direction in this group, you know? But you want... Okay. Okay, let's. T you like what he says. He wants to kill or destroy whatever the fuck. He wants to destroy the flesh pile. Do you or like it's, that? It's, it's not so much. It's not what he says. It's how he says it. You know, he's just makes you kind of want to go along with it. Look, mates, listen. I'll, I'll I'll owe both both of you one favor. If you promise me, you won't set it on fire, mate. I don't. I don't want to. I think it's a waste of my fire bombs. Flaherty, mate. No. I mean, these things aren't easy to make. Anything you want, mate. Anything. Look, Dick, we've been together for a wee bit now, okay? And I value you over one job. So if you don't want me to do it, I'm not going to do it. All right. But I do think perhaps we should move it or find a way to save it so that we can get paid also. I think that we should tell the fucking captain what we saw. And maybe he'll know what the hell is going on. We don't even know who these ritualists are or what they do. All right. I mean, why don't we do idea. that? Wow. Whoa. Whoa, that's a good idea. Right. What the hell we're dealing with there? Let's just seal it in or something, mate. Cave it in. So yeah. you guys want to go talk to the captain? Uh, I, all right. I for that. Maybe he knows what has heard something about it or remembers something about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Meanwhile, clarity. Clarity. Hmm. Clarity. Captain or Gilliard? What do you mean? Wait, <laughs> do you want to come with us or do you want to come with Gilliard? Or go Where's with Gilliard? Gilliard? Where's Gilliard going? Uh, we're <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to go talk to the captain. <laughs> you coming? About the flesh pile? About all of it, about the rituals. Maybe we can figure out what the fuck we're dealing with here or something. I don't, I don't know. I think that's such a good idea. Why? He seems a bit stupid. <laughs> well, well, I mean, he yes. kind of, well, yes and no. I mean, he did say what the hell, you know, he said the, um, oh shit, I forget the family's name, but the, the people who occupied this place and the, you know, the bandits that over overran it. I mean, he knows his history, at least. I mean, he did release that super bear for no reason and nearly kill Lucky. Maybe everything has a reason. <laughs> the grand scheme of things. That's true. That's true. I think I'll stay with Gilliard. Okay, the captain splitting makes the party. Me feel a bit uh, weird. All right. Okay, splitting up, I guess. I'll come with you, Chuck, but you just got to hold me hand again. Okay. Holds hand and skips down hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell did you guys go? <laughs> We're going yeah, to talk to the captain. Oh, They're going back onto the basement. They skipped into the moonlight. <laughs> yeah, we're skipping down the hallway together, and Killfuck is also skipping. I grab his uh, hand too. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Killfuck too. I'm in the middle. <laughs> okay, uh, then Gilliard went down here first. The basement. Uh, door would be locked. Flaherty may be able to show up just before he starts going down, and you guys would sometime later pass by in the hallway, going down to where the uh, the captain's See room ya. is. For you. Uh, I would like to step in with Gilliard first and <laughs> see what you guys are talking about. So they're not coming with us? 
They want to see the captain? For some reason, I don't know. Well, let's go to the flesh pile and burn it then. <laughs> Perhaps we should just wait for them. Well, well, they didn't want to come with us. What's the point? But I think they're asking the captain's permission to save it. So, why are we waiting for their stupidity? Well, your problem with the flesh pile is that it impacts the job. But if it doesn't impact the job, there's no problem, right? So, what? you're somehow going to tell me that they're going to the captain who took over this place, wanted us to clear out the entire basement because his soldiers got killed, and you think that he's somehow going to say, yeah, let's just leave that monstrosity down there. Aye, because but the listen. conversation's going to go like this. Dick's going to go, hey, captain. There's this flesh pile down there, right? And he's going to be like, a flesh pile? Why haven't you taken care of it? Dick's going to be like, well, you see, I rolled around in it and told me not to kill it. And you think the captain's just going to be like, hmm, this thing that looks like a mutant with pus breaking out of its back said that a flesh pile asked it to be kept alive, and he's going to be like, you know what, that checks out. Firstly, I think you're being a, li a wee bit oblivious because the captain's already tried to fuck Dick multiple times. <laughs> he's, a, he's a bit of a sick fuck. So I don't think he's going to be too opposed to his opinion. And secondly, we were sent down there to kill rats, not flesh piles. You, you think they're going to leave a flesh pile? Well, no, but they might be intrigued by the development and want to see it or something. Look. If you do this, then you and Dick are going to be enemies forever. And Listen. that's not good for group cohesion. Well, hurry, I so, need you to look at me. I'm What's looking at you. You're talking about group cohesion. What, what, what has gone on in any of our adventuring right now, which has ever been cohesive? I, but we've He'll barely stare at you with a blank stare, waiting for you to justify we've... any of the actions that have happened. But we've barely started. Do you know what I mean? We've got so much to do. So you agree with murdering random people? I don't agree with it. I was, I don't know if you remember, <laughs> but I was actually the victim of a random murder and it wasn't great. <laughs> so that confuses me more how you're helping justify their actions. I'm not justifying it. Do you not remember I'm... what he did to that old lady? I, I didn't even know he was going to blow her brains out. We were down there. <laughs> she was with us. He didn't even tell us he was going to do that. All of okay, a sudden, but... he takes her to the side. We hear a loud boom, brain matter all over the floor. And but you're saying that we but... should let that man have a giant flesh pile that he rolled around with that was made by the sacrifice of a million prisoners. We don't even know how many. And it's telling him to keep it alive. Okay, um, what's the thing that you really like? I can't tell Dragons. you. This. I, don't I know feel like I you. I feel that. like you don't like anything. But let's pretend I that do. you there like one, one thing. thing. I like. Well, Ever what is since it? I'm not. I was a boy. I'm not going to tell anyone. What is it? I looked up in the sky, and there it was. Oh God! Flying overhead, and I saw. I swear, I saw someone riding it. I've been captivated ever since. I. What, what, what was it riding? What are you talking about? I'm going to have to let you figure that out. Okay, say hypothetically then that this thing that you love, okay, somebody was going to take it away. Would you kill him? Well, I don't have it yet. Okay, but if you did. Well, why were they taking it away? You don't know. <laughs> All you know is that they, they're taking it away. Well, this doesn't really make sense in the given situation. It does. Because you see, me and Dick, we had a great thing that we loved, and it was making money for people that were crossing through. How does a giant flesh pile make money? No, when the old lady. <laughs> I'm saying he had a reason, and the reason was that she was going to jeopardize but what is wealth? the reason for the giant flesh pile? This this is where things aren't making sense. Like, I can understand greed, right? Like, that makes sense. He blowed her brains out for greed. But what, what, what does the giant flesh pile do? What? We don't know, but it's special to him. So let's just see. 
No one said we're not going to burn it. We're just not going to burn it yet. All right. I'll wait here and see what happens. But if they don't come up with something that makes sense, I'm not going to listen anymore. That's totally fair. Meanwhile, why did I have the confused on me? Because <laughs> you were pretty confused. Because you're pretty fucking right. confused. Oh, okay. <laughs> by the conversation. <laughs> yeah, you got confused by a conversation. Gotcha. Before we walk in here, all right, I'm going to talk to Dick. And I'll be like, look, Dick. <laughs> yeah. I can make things go our way in here, okay? But if I do, all right, I want from you three favors, no questions asked at any time. All right. Deal. Okay. All right. Deal. <laughs> I might scurry off. If I do, I need you to distract the captain, okay? All right. All right. Good. Hello, Captain. Oh. It is I. Hey there, Chuck. my favorite, favorite boys. How's it going down there in that deep, dark little cave you got going on? We were holding hands walking in, but... Oh. oh yeah! <laughs> Are you two a I'm like this couple? <laughs> That's three. We're a we're a three. Oh, all three of you have found yeah, we found love in a hopeless place. Well, hopeless no longer. We cleared that basement out. Oh, that <laughs> sounds fantastic. What was down there? Oh, well, you know. What funny you should ask. Rats, gutter folk, cultists, uh, a mass grave with a uh, ritual circle drawn around it and lit candles. <laughs> that all sounds very dangerous. Well, Did hey, you... you wanted us to keep that mass grave there, right? <laughs> well, to my knowledge, I was unaware of any mass grave, but we oh, should okay. definitely burn that. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, fuck it, right? I I don't know about that. Mass graves typically turn into gigantic monsters. <laughs> no, I mean, hypothetically, if that were to happen and there was a giant monster down there, this is all just you know. If it did happen, would would should we kill that or set it on fire or well, smash it? Well, uh, one of the number one creatures the Aegis Order usually finds themselves up against is those damn dirty amalgams rising up from the corpses of any human who is not burned. Oh. Mm, well, I see. You know, that might have been worth mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shouldn't be a problem anyway, because there's so many rats down there. I'm sure they're eating the corpses. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Notably, there were no rats in that room. <laughs> yeah. That's the dragon, but okay. I get it. Uh, so, uh, tell us about these amalgams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so amalgams. They are gigantic flesh heaps and they live within us all. It's the human curse that when we go down, slime crawls from outside of our abdomen, seeking more and more sustenance to bring back to the host, creating a giant globule, which will one day become a sentient amalgam. And then we kill it. Well, hopefully we kill it before it turns into that, or we just burn the body and skip the whole thing. Ooh. Okay. Is uh, this something that's common knowledge that we would know, or is this, does, is this all like, are we just hearing this it, for the first time? It depends time? how much of a city folk you are. You being presumably from Eden with the way you're dressed, you may live a sheltered life and not know this. Okay. But generally speaking, me? Killfuck definitely knows. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Give us a moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go. Guys, I'm going to go use the, hallway? the restroom. Okay. Go meet me in the hallway. Ooh. All right. I'm going to use this opportunity to, uh, I don't know. What, what does he have on, on his dresser and, and table and shit here? <laughs> uh, if you're looking for something for the ritual, you can find like a comb or something yeah. that has hair in it. Some, anything like that. You would definitely read like a knot book. Yep. 
Is there a comb or anything, or would that be in the there, bathroom? There's a smaller comb, presumably not for his head hair, as he doesn't have much. What hair? What hair? What hair was it for? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, I'll take, I'll take the fucking pube comb. <laughs> Are there crabs in it? No, just, just I don't know. Just a little All curly right. hairs. Oh, Christ. Is there a door on this bathroom? No. Oh, he has a beard. He has facial hair. Oh, he, oh, he does. He's really he has not hair. Wait, attention. he has hair. He doesn't have a lot. Well, it still needs to be combed. I know. I don't have a lot of hair. All right. Fuck it. I take the comb. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, they're not gray hairs. Uh, okay. Well. What's the plan, mate? All right, I take the comb anyways. Meet me in the hall. Let's discuss. All right. I'll be right back. I actually over. have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Over, over here? We'll uh, yeah. oh. be right back. Oh. <laughs> hey, okay. Uh, so what What are we thinking, Dick? Mate. Have you, have you changed your mind at all? Look, I'm down for whatever. <laughs> and Ra Radiant Mike, you know, I mean, did you really hear something in there? Because I didn't hear shit, Dick. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mate, I'm, I, I, I promise. It grabbed what me hand say? and made me look at it, and it said, "The awakening must happen." Oh, and, well, that's uh, probably not good. <laughs> and Radiant, Radiant Mike took me to the soil, and he offered me a cure to the, the fucking disease that I have, mate. And I know you tried to kill me, mate. Hmm. Uh, but so did he. And I and I told him, I said, Mike, if loving you means I got to cure me, or <laughs> if, <laughs> I said, I said, taking this cure all that you're giving me means that I can't love you, Mike. And then I dumped it into the well because it would have meant that I couldn't live me life free and covered in filth what the fuck are you talking about why didn't you take that right because <laughs> why couldn't you have done both because the <laughs> what are you fucking doing <laughs> you easily could have done both <laughs> your life have been significantly improved like, why listen, couldn't you do both mates listen all right look around look at us okay. look at me right. look at the captain Look at the castle. Uh -huh. Look at look at the gutter folk, the rats, the flesh poil, uh -huh. the hor the horrible thing that happened to us at sea. The crazy yes. folk wearing clams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> then just kill yourself. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't. I'm too. I'm a, I'm a coward, mate. I can't do it. Uh... <laughs> I know sometimes it feels like. You are worthless, and you serve zero purpose. <laughs> you should not kill yourself now. I feel like that if you want to die, there's better ways to go about it than allowing a satanic corpse uprising to happen. Mate, listen, think about the positives, though, mate. All right? Okay. It rises up. Maybe it kills everyone here. All right? Except for us, because we'll know it's coming. You know, we come back in like a couple of days. Maybe they wander off into the mainland come in loot the place right maybe clear it out and then guess what we take we takes it over mate why do you but the, what does that have to do with you wanting to die well I, look i i want to die <laughs> but it's not it's not like a pressing thing mate you know <laughs> i mean every it's gonna happen eventually yeah mate like, why uh, rush the process i'm you trying to live li i want to live me life as much as i can before that comes you know then why wouldn't you cure yourself because then I have to live even more after I fuck Radiant Mike, for example. You said you want to live your life, then you. Then I want to live should... a little. I want to live a little bit. No, oh. you know, I got a limiter. You know, mate. I just I, I. I'm just over it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get that. I'm just saying that. Has to be... right. But so why? Why are we keeping this flesh pile then? Because you want to die? Oh, because Radiant Mike told me I would find it, mate. So I think it's important. I, I think I need this flesh pile so I can fuck Radiant Mike later, mate. 
Hmm. Allow me to um ask a question. Yeah. What if we kill it and then don't tell Radiant Mike that we killed it? Mate, he knew it was there, bro. He now. I don't know, mate. Is he I gonna don't... know that it's dead? I think so, Gov. You think so, or you know so? I, he I, he knows more things than he should, bro. He talked about me dreams. I never told him about that, mate. Oh, well, that's that can't be good. No, I know, but what if it is good, mate? What if? What? What, what, what if? if he, what if he? It seems like he doesn't live like everyone else, mate. It's like he exists between th that this place and that, bro. bro you know, it's so, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So what if he knows something we don't about living, mate? His lifestyle if, is to embrace the filth. What if that's the key, Gov? What if he's a cultist? Oh, he might be, mate, but he seems like he knows what he's doing. Why? Well, I mean, you don't... I, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty, I think you're thinking with your dick here, dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 80% me cock, mate. That's what I'm saying. I, th I, th I, I worry that you're putting Radiant Mike's ass on the pedestal. I am, mate. It's plump. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if this is good. I mean, do you really want to... You should never put it on the pedestal. <laughs> mate, listen. What's the worst that happens? It kills everyone here. We can find a different fucking job, mate. Think about how much money we're going to make if this place gets fucking destroyed by those things. Well, how are we going to get the money from... We'll come back. We'll sneak in. Or clear it out later, mate. Hmm. And it, besides, if it's one big monster, Gov... It comes out, maybe it smashes the fucking castles, it rises up out of the sewer or whatever the fuck it is, the dungeon, all right? Everything collapses, you know, we got rubble to sift through then, and it wanders off, and then the console, it takes care of it, bruv. And we hide in bushes. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, that ritual that we witnessed did lead us to a void that gave us some cool shit. <laughs> Wait, so you... I mean, yeah, that was pretty cool, Gov. So maybe these... Rituals are for the void. I mean, why else would... I mean, right? That was a positive thing that that happened. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, what's your plan, mate? <laughs> Captain opens up the door behind you. Ah. Hey there, boys. Uh, I forget. Were we in the middle of a conversation or... Hey, Dick wants to have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was only joking. I well, Dick can do this really cool thing. <laughs> I, I... Dick, go, Dick, go stand on the bed and show him this really cool thing you can do. Well, you know show how... him, show him, Dick. <laughs> mate, mate, listen, mate, listen, Roy. What if I could show you a hole that you ain't ever seen before, though? <laughs> oh, yeah, show him that. If this makes it's... me throw up. You're going to be executed. It's, <laughs> trust gonna, us, it's out of this world. Can I sneak? Can I sneak not, not sneak, but can I like squeeze past the captain here? Little, <laughs> well, he'll be me. like, what, 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 what do you need? I got I got to use your loo. Oh, yeah. Fine. Yeah, I just pissed in that tub back there. Uh, lucky I'll clean it up later. <laughs> oh, God. I'm starting to feel bad for Lucky. Well, you don't have to, Dick. I I really don't want to see your third hole. I just uh, uh, is there, uh, is there a I door do, here? I do have it. No do there have is it. no door. Okay. All right, I'm gonna. Dick stands and nonchalantly <laughs> in front of the doorway. <laughs> Captain Funsmith stands behind <laughs> Dick, looking over his short stature at Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> you never pissed uh... with another man watching. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use a secret on 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 Dick. I think I I'm close enough, right? Or do I have to be in in, in sight of him? Uh, you could do that. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna use my secret. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> Dick, I need you to distract the captain while I perform a piss tub ritual. <laughs> All right, mate. He get says to himself. Get him away! Get him away from me! <laughs> get him, uh, so he can't see the piss tub. All right. 
Dick wanders over here. So, Cap, mate. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, what kind of clothes? What kind of clothes you got in you, mate? I think <laughs> that uh, besides asking me about my clothes, perhaps we should deal with the supposed <laughs> giant flesh pile right. in our basement. Mate, flesh pile. You guys were talking about some sort on. of theoretical giant amalgam mass. I'm gonna slip into the piss tub. I'm gonna get into the piss tub. <laughs> 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 and his stir knows I've been trying to do for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to use Inception and I'm going to. I'm, I'm just going to simply try to convince the captain here that. Maybe we should just leave the pile there just just in case, just in <laughs> case. <laughs> I mean, we should probably leave that that pile there just in case. That pile needs to be left alone. Okay. You want me to, you want I me got to you. <gasps> no. <laughs> no. Oh my fucking god. Mm. Are you serious? Motherfucker. Just because he beat you doesn't necessarily mean that it didn't affect him. Uh, Because the way mind check works, like he still doesn't know you're doing it. It could be more or less effective. So I, I think you'd have to like ask him to see how much it's set in. <sighs> I tell but you what, it says I can use some if faith, it was effective. Right? Yes. Is it still too late? Should I? Uh, I no, you just saw that? the result. You can use fate now if you want to guarantee it. Um, How much would I have to use? Like the seven or? I don't know how the fate system works. 20 to absolutely guarantee 20. his full commitment to this idea. Fuck it, I'll do it for the RP. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it for the yeah. RP. Yeah. All right, all right. That's pretty, That's pretty cheap. cheap. All right, mate, I got a pee. What, what flesh pile are you talking about, mate? <laughs> oh, the, the flesh pile in the fucking dungeon, mate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely think that maybe if we kept it around for a little while, uh, perhaps we could just, you know, see what happens. Yeah, mate. It's just weird uh, itching in the back of my head. Like, I'm really just curious. What if we just let it be? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, mate. Hmm strange but i think you've got a good head there on you dick thanks you want me to scratch your skull mate i think i'm good i i've seen what you do with those I, hands i ain't clipped me nails in ever well i'm sure you could scratch really good i don't want to take the risk all right so uh, all right so you know we's gonna go then <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, uh, I've, I've slipped and fell in your tub. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I've done that plenty of times. All right, <laughs> hey, uh, Chuck. Captain said, uh, we we's gonna leave the flesh pile, mate. It's an order, Gov. All right. Uh, well, Captain, would you mind? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, Gilliard's kind of being a little bitch about this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> would you mind uh, helping us? Can you just tell him directly? <laughs> That uh, it's an order. Or uh, he sure, won't I've heard uh, some strange whispers. Uh, Lucky, as he cleans my boots, tells me all about the weird things Gilliard's been saying. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's, he's a character already. Right. Uh, where is this man? I think uh, I don't know. I think they are. La I, we last saw him standing in the uh, yeah. corridor that leads to the basement. What do you say? So uh, you guys take me to him, and I'm just gonna. Is is he not along. gonna care that Chuck is just randomly wet now? <laughs> I told him I fell in the tub. <laughs> he did say I, I slipped and fell in your tub. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, can can you get lucky to wash my clothes? <laughs> and also me? I'm sorry, but if he spent more time on you, he wouldn't have time for all my messes. Oh, well. It's kind of the, kind of the perks of the job, you know? You hey, work your I whole it, life man. just to get I a lucky. Get it. He's your servant. Yep. I get it. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the group joins back up with Flaherty and Gilliard, who have been debating for a very long time. Uh, and Captain Von Smith will assert himself through the doorway as they notice them passing through the door. Like, oh, hey, uh, Gilliard. Flaherty, Whoa. nice to see you here. Hi, Captain. <laughs> Gilliard, how about you make, like, something that leaves and me and Flaherty talk alone for a moment? 
No. All right, I'll see you in the dungeon. No, uh, Gilead. Oh, you can stay. hey, no, you Gilead. Gilead, bad. See, that's what I wanted to come here and talk to you about. Well, you told me to leave. The boys have explained to me the situation, and I hate to have to be the bad guy. You know, I'm usually one of the boys, and I don't want to have to come between yeah. this whole situation. But I gotta say, it's really kind of sounding like a good idea to see what would happen if we just <laughs> didn't do anything with that giant flesh blob ritual downstairs. Yeah, that's right. So I have a few questions about that. So <laughs> oh, here he goes. Flatty will mouth told you here silently at Gilead. <laughs> What's well, usually the course of action for something like this in the Aegis Order? I would say, under normal circumstances, that we would light it on fire. What's different, what's different about this circumstance? This one, from what they've told me, just seems weirder. Like, maybe if we let it be, it might not be exactly what we think it is. Uh, uh, Killfuck will... Can he hear all this through the doorway? Yeah. The uh, door's Killfuck open. Will, Killfuck will um, poke his head through the door and motion to Gilliard to like point at the captain, and then he'll point. Killfuck will point at his own head and like do like a like a like a scrambling motion. Hey, I'll look at Killfuck. He's that. So does it feel <laughs> like your head is fine? Um, I did have a weird itch back of my head a little bit earlier but what does that have to do with any of this are you, you were talking uh, to them are, nothing are, are you a recruit denying a direct order i'm just wondering <laughs> i was just curious captain well i'm just wondering if you're denying a di direct order <laughs> well i haven't denied anything sir well it seems like you're trying to go down in that basement yeah we're clearing the rest of the dungeon sir well what i heard from the rest of the boys is that Seems like you're being a little bit of a troublemaker out here. That you sort of you want to go down there and you want to stop that flesh pile from growing and reaching its no, uh, grand Cap size. Captain, if I may, uh, Gelliard was waiting for the group before he went down. This is just the kind of thing that we need. Imagine a gigantic amalgam from which the likes of the world has never seen. <laughs> then the Aegis Order can slay it and get all the glory. Yeah, we probably, we probably need to murder a, a few more innocent people too, right? I don't know about that. I. No, like just making sure we're on the right track. I, I agree with that. <laughs> Maybe the next Everyone else merchant here that comes that through, we can right? add to the pile. Well, you know, yeah, that, that's a little, that's a wee bit out of pocket, don't you think? My bad. Uh, any votes for putting Gilliard in the pile? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no Captain, with all, with all due respect, Gilliard, uh, we kind of need him. He's very strong, so... Well, and with all due respect, uh, I'm going to have to disallow you from entering that sewer. Uh, sir, I wasn't going to touch uh, the pile because of your orders. There are some other parts of the dungeon we need to clear I don't out. think I want anyone to go down there for any reason, because I feel like you may be trying to deceive me, and I'm not going to go down there to make sure you're not. Sorry for yeah. that. I say we just keep me. the whole thing locked up tight. Sorry for almost deceiving you, sir. Uh, <laughs> your apology is accepted. All right. So, uh, how do, how much do we get for payment for the dungeon? Oh, you want it to be paid for your job? <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Hmm. That's that's strange. Would you? I feel like you, you didn't consider, do anything, um, I, sir. There's wait. cultists we've killed down there. We're kind of all a group now, and we don't really operate on a pay-by-pay, job-by-job basis. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you do right, your job next because job you're a recruit. Then, uh, your next job we can discuss. Uh, perhaps, I don't know, we can pick up here tomorrow. Like right here, or...? Oh, you can meet me in my bedchambers, especially if you're bringing that hot tamale. <laughs> sure, she's not a tamale. I she's love that tamales are canon in the myriad. What's a tamale?! <laughs> I've heard people call Dullahan's that. Hmm. Tamale. Okay. I don't know. I gotta go through all the requests. Uh, Leiloon has really been asking for our help, so probably gonna want to go out there and figure out what their problem is. <laughs> so, job completed? Ah, job well done for all. We'll talk about your oh. pay later. Which is no. Okay. <laughs> right. All right. Good work, everyone. He, he goes to shake everyone's oh. hand, except for Dick. 
<laughs> Love you, Cap. Mission complete. Hey, thank you, Captain. <laughs> All right. At ease, gentlemen. I'll be going back to bed. Very well, oh, sir. Yeah, that sounds love great. You, Cap. Captain, love you. <clears throat> okay. Cheeky so... fucker, what does he mean, no pay? Yeah, this is... Yeah, wait a minute. What was that about? I'm off to steal something. Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. Bloody pay myself. Well, then, what'll it be? Well, I guess we sleep. Something Actually, I was wondering, uh, are there any, like, alchemy sets here? Um... You can roll, I could like, a me? chance that you can find it in their supply room to the left. Okay. Uh, anything specific you're looking for? Just, like, uh, the glass vials or, like, ingredients? <clears throat> like, ingredients and just shit that I could just tinker with, try to whip something up. Maybe something for sanity? That'd be, I don't know if sanity potions are a thing. Be cool if they were. Uh, pretty low odds that they would have something like that, but there's always a chance. Unfortunately, you do not find any alchemy stuff, though Flaherty, if you find your way into this room and you were dead set on stealing something, there is a random pile of shit. Yeah, I'm just taking something. No fucking pay. She's sifting through all the junk. Flaherty picks out a random box of supplies. And you oh, can click hey. that to pop it open and find out what was inside. Why just click the word? Uh, What's that? Supplies on your selected, yeah. I clicked it, guys. Oh, my, uh, my map tools is crashed, if you could open it. I can see chat and I can see you move me, but I can't interact with anything. Oh. It's probably we loading. Weird. No, Maybe it's good like click it. it. Yeah, it's frozen, dog. It's been frozen for like 10 minutes. I just <laughs> forgot. What? Okay, you find a package full of bags of soaps. Hmm. Not gonna use that. <laughs> you good? Am I good? Yeah, you found you a, a package full of soaps. Nice, dude. Cool. You just what's you, the wealth? I mean, if what's you the wealth? if you want to like find someone to sell soap to, you don't. It's not just like a a wealth. She's thing. trying to get paid, dog. Guys, my house is vibrating. Is there an earthquake? earthquake? Turn the nope. bed down. Anything else? I'm going to the librarian. Okay. Let me find librarian. <clears throat> where the heck is librarian? I don't know. Where is he at, though? But for real, though. <laughs> for real, for real? Oh, I found him. Oh, I need to go to Armorsmith, too. Whenever that's done. Or, you know, whenever. Uh, sure. Sheesh. I guess I don't think I can remove the Fog of War stuff. Anyway, you find the librarian hanging out inside of the main room uh, the way that he normally would. Uh, finishing up some meals. Seems like he's got some lunch from Lucky himself. Sir, I found something in the basement. Oh, hey, Gilead. What did you find? Pull the old book from his head. Oh, what the foul sorcery is that? I don't know. There's some fucked up shit down there, but apparently the captain's fine with it, so. The captain's fine with you pulling a book from your head. No, he's, no, he's fine with a, a flesh pile of about 50 corpses and just leaving it down there. What? Yeah. Uh, apparently my party talked to him and, uh, quote-unquote, convinced him that we should let it stay down there. That doesn't make any Snitch. sense. It wouldn't be the first time that blubbling fool made some dumb decision we all paid for later. Yeah, but I'm just a recruit, so I kind of have to just let it happen, you know? Ugh. 
if we get the guys together, we can probably uh, we'll try and change his mind a little bit. Yeah, I'll leave that up to you guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to help. Plus, you don't even care enough to be a, a plus one. Sir, uh, the captain said, why don't we throw Gilliard in that pile as well? So I might have oh. incognito. <laughs> no, I see what's going on here. Oh, I don't yeah. want to get in the middle of this. I've heard some rumors going around here, and I know I lent you the what? book in good faith, but Lucky says you're being a kind of weirdo. <laughs> so you don't want me to share this book with you then? He's running around the castle telling us we should, when you go down into the basement, we should have locked you in. Damn. Uh, why? You just pull Lucky a book a out of your head? You think it's not a problem? Do you not understand? Sir, there's some things that happen down there. Oh yeah, that's a problem. Sir, if I was crazy, wouldn't I just be killing everyone? There's plenty of different kinds of crazy. Well, y y isn't it better that I just show you it up front so you know what you're dealing with? Uh, lad, no. No. Well, I'll keep it secret next time then. Ah, oh, <laughs> uh, you see, this puts me in a different kind of situation. As I got to say, I see what Lucky's saying. I, I suppose I thank you for coming clean, but... How could you trust the man pulling books out of his head? The way I look at it, sir, is lying serves no purpose in anything. Uh, my convictions, my resolves, they're true. And if people can't see it, even though I'm showing it right to them, that's up to them, oh, not me. Oh, mate, mate, you're kind of some, you're some sort of wizard. No. Where did you live before wizard you came here? In some kind of twisted psycho tower? No, I live near a farm. And what'd you do on that farm? <laughs> I worked out, tended nice. stuff. Oh. Oh shit. My family, uh, my dad said, you know what, Gilliard? I think you're gonna be able to do great things. And you always seem to be wanting to do something more, like something has your attention. And I could see that. And he said, you know what? Go out and do that, son. Uh, no disrespect, but was your father a mutant? No, uh, Dick's the mutant. And your mother? Uh, she's not a mutant either. I suppose I could. I do see what you mean. You are surprisingly trustworthy for someone who is so fucked up. I wouldn't say I'm fucked up, sir. Uh, what if we, uh, I don't know, put you inside, uh, lock you in the room for a week? Uh, what would that accomplish, sir? Well, then we get to see if you're crazy, you do anything psycho while you're in there. Uh, will I get food and water? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. As you know, just to prove to everyone, you know, if you don't start writing, you know, death on the wall and all that sort of stuff. The things so, crazy people do. What's the assurance that I don't just get killed? Uh, <laughs> I suppose I can see that that is, uh, a possibility. Yes. We'd have to run it by the captain and get his assurances because I can't speak on his behalf. <laughs> well, so, like you just said, you want to run it by the captain, but you're also distraught at the, the fact that the captain is letting a grotesque pile I'm of human I'm throwing out live. ideas so that I'm, it doesn't I'm have just... to end in bloodshed. Well, I'm just, I'm just trying to show you where I'm being honest with you about everything. The captain is doing something obviously uh, unnatural to what he usually does. <sighs> hmm. He rubs his chin and really thinks through the situation because both sides are sounding like the devil. I... <laughs> this is a really hard spot. <laughs> What about the rest of your crew? Uh, what about them? Like, who to look out for? Or... Are they... Also a little bit psycho? Uh, two of them are completely normal. They don't <laughs> seem like they really want to do anything. Uh, Flaherty and Killfuck, they kind of just, uh... They just, just want to survive. Dick, uh, I think he wants to die. From what I've been <laughs> hearing. Uh, he's just counting his days. Listen, and Chuck... I, I can tell you what's going to happen here. All right, I'm listening. 
We run through uh, recruits uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. Odds are the captain's just going to send you out on a distant mission and we'll never hear from you again and you die on it. All right. I hate to be straight with you, but he's just going to give you something hard to do. <laughs> yeah. And that's that. If you come back right, and your so mind's still in one piece, I guess then we'll know. All right, so I was going to do that anyway, so we'll... What was this about? Like that when I come back, you're gonna not think I'm crazy or something, or what's going on? I think you're less crazy when you come back. All right. Now you want to read this book or what? <laughs> <laughs> you want to hit this book? Holy shit! He's a librarian. <laughs> uh, you're. It's you, you pulled the book from your brain. It's the one you found in the basement. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> What a fucked up day. <laughs> All right, uh, I could give it a try. Have you taken a look at it? I haven't taken a look at it yet. And uh, where'd you say you found this? In the basement, behind a hidden door. All right, uh, I suppose I'll take a look. He kind of looks around the room to make sure no one is like thinking of entering. He doesn't want anyone to accidentally see the pages and he tilts the book up towards himself so that Gilead also can't accidentally see any of the words of the book. <laughs> well, the challenge of 22, that's actually not bad. And his eyes gaze over the book. He flips through some pages before he utters. So you said there was a, a flesh pile. Yeah. In the basement. Yeah, like around 50 bodies, probably more. And we're not going to burn it. Uh... No, that's what the captain, quote-unquote, doesn't want to do. Well, I don't think the captain knows about this. What'd Gilead. you learn? Gilead, it's a bomb. It's a time bomb. Yeah! This thing says that when it's reached the edge, it explodes. The edge of what? The There should be some sort of a binding circle. Yeah. When it fully grows... It was grows, wrapped around in its own intestines. There's a drawing here, Gilead, of the castle exploding. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to stop that thing. Oh, I'd say so. Yeah, take but your book and go tell the captain. That? I'll join you. I can't tell the captain. He ah, wants me dead. Then I'll you go try and have it. a word with him. You might have to talk to Lucky. There's no time for that. If this thing's ticking away, we're all going to die. Sir, everyone's against me. Even you. <laughs> he looks back, nods, and salutes. <laughs> you guys are fucking around downstairs, like stealing shit out of the storeroom. And Ulrich, the librarian, comes running down the stairs, almost tripping, sweating, holding the book in his hands, clutched between white palms. Flatty's carrying like soap. <laughs> Listen, everyone, where's the captain? Uh, why do know. you want to know? The flesh pile. It's a bomb. It's going to oh blow up the whole castle. <laughs> what do you mean it's a bomb? What? It was designed so that when it reaches the edge of the circle, it just explodes and kills us all. It must be all revenge right. for taking what? down all the Arbons. We have to get down there immediately. Okay, oh, calm God. down. How could you possibly know this? In this book that Gilead <laughs> had. All right. Well, why don't we just get rid of the well, circle on, and can just... it can't go over the edge? Wait, it, what, what's in the book? I'm not going to show you the book. Please stand aside so I can go speak to the captain. Well, hold on a second. Why don't you just give me the book and I'll bring it to the captain? This is too important to trust new recruits with. You should have lit the thing on fire in the first place. Listen, okay, the captain, we're, he's taking a bath and he has told us oh, any God information. Damn it. He starts to try and push past you, but uh, kill fuck giant man is in the way. Oh, Deck. just hand us the book. Deck, listen. Where are you? Oh, yeah. 
You're all in on it. Your mind's corrupted. No, why not? Dick, listen. Why, ah. would Mike, why would Mike leave, Dick? Because he knew it was going to blow up, Gov. Yeah. He's going to kill you, Dick. He doesn't feel the same way about you that you feel about him. <laughs> mate, it's a trap. No, mate. Listen. He knew we'd be gone, Gov. Well, let's fucking go then. I'm not yeah. sticking around. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. Uh, everyone, like I said, the captain is taking his bath and he wants us to bring any news to him personally. <laughs> Use the cover story on Ulrich. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sticking around for when this thing goes off. I'm leaving. <laughs> if you want to warn the captain, All right. you can. <laughs> well, all right, it then. fades Ulrich's mind hard. <laughs> <laughs> he slams the book into your chest so that you can take it. Well, then go on. Tell him. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> I've been here. I've been here for over 40 years, and you're going to outrank me like this. Like the captain trusts you all of a sudden. Your well, he, stupid that's glasses just, in your pipe. You don't it's even just smoke. what he wants. Well, it's, it's nice to just suck on sometimes. Oh, so get, why don't you suck on this? Get your ass <laughs> back there and tell him. All right. <laughs> dick. Dick. Yeah. You, you are you down with this? Yeah. This mate. bomb shit. Okay. We come back, we loot it after it blows up, Gov. It's the perfect plan. All right. <laughs> I mean, okay. we can just loot it now. Okay. <laughs> now. What's up? <laughs> no fucking way. Uh -huh. Hey, what's up? What's going on, boys? I'm uh, back for a little bit more. Uh... <laughs> Fun? Do you guys want to play some poker? Maybe we can get a Cap couple guys together and play uh, Red Rover. Captain Zap Brannigan is my favorite character in this <laughs> game campaign. Uh, you know, we got some disturbing news. Oh, yeah, well, I don't want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, that just sounds like that's going to stress me out. <laughs> it's terrible. No, it's really disturbing. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> How about you run it by Lucky? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that hey, man's uh, noggin could handle anything. Let me ask you something. We all hate reading, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Except the cool kind. <laughs> what do you... What, <laughs> like porn? <laughs> what do you no, mean, like, like porn? Por oh. Like the higher form that the clerics oh. can do. Yeah, we should, all, we should all burn a book together. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a cool thing. A couple of boys could just gather around a burning book. All yeah, right, mate. let's burn the we book, mate. You want to just do it? it? Let's just do it Fla here. Yeah. Flaherty's gonna go find uh, Gilead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put the book on the ground. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! I, I've burned a few things down here myself, and let me tell you, there's no ventilation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Dick, I think you need to eat this book. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> Opens pages. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Wait, wait a minute there. I think the words can get in your mind if you eat it. No, no. This is actually better this way. I'll put it in me bum then, mate. All right. I was looking forward to burning it. <laughs> Oh, all well, right, let's go burn it. All then, right, mate. let's go burn the book. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> to avoid any uh, cross referencing here. Ga Captain, life. Captain, they said there's a, there's a bomb in the basement. You need to do. <laughs> shut up, you nerd. We're going to go burn some books. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Stupid God. nerd. <laughs> Nerds suck. <laughs> Have you ever thought that maybe your library is the problem? <laughs> That's true. Hey, hey, boys. This guy's based. <laughs> what if we burn the whole room? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, all right. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Captain, I hate yeah. reading. Hey, Captain, this is serious. They're seriously going to destroy the whole castle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. I think what would be interesting is if we just let it happen. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Cool. Uh, so, Clarity, get anything cool in there? 
<laughs> uh, guys... A wee bit of soap, but I'm actually gonna find Gilliard because I'm leaving. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna see if I get anything. Oh, a chain. <laughs> As you guys enter the library, Ulrich makes a dash for uh, the basement, opens up the hatch, and tries to go down himself. No! Oh, Ulrich. Uh, on that note, I would also when he ran out of the room, I would have went into that second entrance we came out of instead of that entrance. Gilliard's going down going the bottom. There. Yeah. Okay. Bottom way up. Oof. All right. Well, let's handle what's happening in this room. Of course. So, how do you want to burn all these books? You guys got any fires? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, by the way, cool, no, a cool fire bomb. <laughs> fires. Fuck yeah, I do. How do they bro? work? <laughs> you just fucking throw it at shit and it just catches on fire, hey, man. It's cool. May I? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Takes Hands Chuck's fire, fire bomb. bomb and throws it at the wall, splashing the fire down, covering the books. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, this reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, this is cool, man. This is awesome. I hate readers. They disgust me. I don't know why we had a librarian. <laughs> me yeah, too. Man, what's up with that, Gov? Well, I think the old guy uh, who ran this place sort of wanted it to have one i don't know in case we lost any knowledge <laughs> but i well, ran that fool out of here and made him read his own books and he went insane <laughs> what was his name anyway oh captain avery oh yeah fuck that guy <laughs> <laughs> honestly true yeah fuck him <laughs> <laughs> oh, this this thing's getting a little off. Here, give me one more. Oh, all right, yeah. Maybe we should. Here, here, Dick, you throw one at that. Whatever that is. All right, mate. He, th <laughs> he fucking wails it against the wall. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, the bomb doesn't matter. <laughs> Even the, the, the carpet's kitchen guys. Oh, Everyone out. Gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He shuts cool. the door behind them. Oh, that feels like a job well done. Yeah, we did it. Um, can... What's up, Laherty? No, uh, <laughs> hey, there's fire in there. I know how much you like that. Uh, can Killfuck come out of the storeroom holding a bunch of chains? <laughs> Check out all these free chains I got. <laughs> oh, well, why are you taking those chains? Well, you know, you guys are going to need them. <laughs> well, why not? Well, the whole place is going to blow up. Oh, yeah, the bomb. Yeah, so what are you going to need chains for? I suppose. They are yeah, kind of a uh, holy symbol <laughs> to us around here, though. I don't know. I guess you're saving them, then. Yeah, I'm, I'm preserving the culture or whatever. All right. Plus, they make me look totally cool. He's getting, like, draped over his arms. He's, like, showing him off. Anything else? Uh, anything else you guys want to do before the end? <laughs> No, yeah, my... I got a question. You ever seen this symbol before? I'm, I'm gonna pull here. out that I'm fucking. I'm out. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out yeah, this. I, I left. I left by Gilead like right away. Okay. I'm gonna pull out this <laughs> ring that I found. Oh, okay. If it was a book, he was gonna. That's kind of awkward. We just burned the library, and we're standing <laughs> next to it. Ah, oh, that's yeah. a. I don't know. I just figure. We're, we're, I figure we're getting it all out there. It's kind of weird. Never seen anything like that. Cool. Got anything what else? You guys, want to do? you guys want to grab a beer? Yeah, mate. A deal? Yeah, mate. All right. Um, sure. Is that All right? <laughs> I hate to phrase it like that. <laughs> is that your final action? <laughs> um. Yeah. I, as they're right. as they're walking to the bar, I want to try and sneak off and leave, <laughs> get away from the castle as far as I can. Okay. Uh, then they'll go back upstairs to where Lucky is oh. and start grabbing a drink. <laughs> oh. oh wait no 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 well, hold on no i want to leave the i thought we were leaving the castle <laughs> okay okay as we're as we're as all right the, ca the captain's walking in front of us okay me me chuck and maybe whoever else walking side by side and uh dick will whisper to chuck all right mate he's gonna turn that corner we're going right he's going left gov let's get the fuck out of here mate chuck winks and oh, okay. does that 
Then yeah, fucking spread tell all. And Chuck, Chuck grabbed kill, kill fuck's hand too. <laughs> oh, we're doing okay. We're leaving. Okay. Uh, Flaherty was going where? Uh, literally just like she would just head upstairs and like yell off the Gilead. See if I she wonder how lucky he's gonna get out of this one. <laughs> she will easily find Gilead sitting in the main room. I'm going uh, down. Th- didn't he what go? Do you mean? I thought, I thought you Gilead, were the listen, I'm sorry oh, I doubt wait, you. Wait, 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 yeah, I sorry. will never doubt you again. Gilead was going down to the sewer, leaving the building. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. All right. Well, if I Maybe couldn't if find him, I would just. They're screaming, and I. I, can I, I, I yeah. I'm gonna give a 50% chance that you find him, like as he's leaving, or you see him going down. Oh, we like bump into each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just hover it over the library burning. That looks cool, man. Mr. Johnson Vigilant, where is he? Nice. Why, Gilead occurs. Okay, then I'm going to put you guys down here. Uh, actually, on the other map, just for so it looks right. You guys, he's walking down the path to make sure that he can get back down into the sewer. And Flaherty, you saw him like you peeked your head up top and you saw him from the ramparts and then came running down for him. As uh, we all walk out of the castle, I look over to Dick and kill fuck, and I'm like, we really made a difference here. <laughs> we really I, I did will, something good. <laughs> I will say, because of us, things will never be the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's flyer time. Galliard, I'm sorry I doubted you. I will never Where's doubt you from? again. I'm leaving. We gotta go. They're not leaving. I don't think they're just fucking around. Going down there. <laughs> Galliard, we need to leave. I it's need gonna to blow. Stop it. it. It's too late. It's not too late. It's too Anyone late, that Galliard. That will never become anything. Well, I'll be alive, so what I'm is leaving. What person if they see something they can change and they choose not to do it? Yeah, can Are they, they change really this? Living? We had a chance to change it and we messed it. It's gonna <laughs> blow. Let's go. You may be able to live with what happens, but I wouldn't be able to. And I what know I mean? have a chance to stop it. Do now that I know have what a it chance truly to is, stop it. Are you, are you just kidding me? <laughs> right, fine, fuck it. <laughs> no fine. one ever believes me, so I have to believe in myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, de- you deserve my trust. Let's let's go. Fine. <laughs> You're gonna need someone no. to set it on fire. You're gonna need someone to burn it anyway. Aren't you? Well, let's let's freaking go then. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. I go. I go with him into the sewer. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me. Uh, there's a couple things here. I'm just making sure I get right, because it would be a shame to get them wrong. <laughs> Don't please me, I have to believe myself. <laughs> that was fucking... That was fucking, fucking deep, bro. That's fucking deep. <laughs> this shit's gonna be the next Dis- new Disney movie leaked. Disney movie? Okay, first, I'm gonna hit you with a chance that bad stuff doesn't happen on your way there. So I'm going to say a pretty favorable 90% chance that you're able to get inside the sewers again from that back exit without the situation occurring. Now! (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Okay. Wait, wait, says, wait, wait, no, wait. It says no, that's, that's, good. that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That was a coding we didn't, error. We didn't hit the 10% chance that we failed. Yeah, we that hit was 29. Just a coding error. We're okay. Oh, yeah, I wrote it backwards. I did 90% yeah, chance you wrote for the bomb. <clears throat> it would be 10 or lower normally. Okay. So you guys successfully oh, get God. downstairs. You. 
You can't be making these kind of errors right now, Dion. Those are all the essence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's no, like, oops, I'm you're to, dead. I'm trying to make sure this <laughs> goes correctly. Whoopsie, you're dead. Oh, sorry. Oops. There I is, do have a 4% chance for an oopsie. There is Typo. a timer on your screen. <laughs> already burn it. You are not at it yet. Oh. And even though it has taken the DM time for me to do things, that DM sucks. That fucking <laughs> sucks, bro. You guys the are in the back time. of the dungeon. Oh my god. Um, well, d damn, do something. Where can I act? They're able to move three, and then they realize that they clogged the path. <laughs> do you guys want to spend some time cleaning this, or would you like to head back? We can't vault over it or anything. You guys completely sealed it up and are going to have to spend some time clearing this away. Uh, did we? I don't remember sealing it up. You did we seal it up. up. We'll clear it. We'll clear it. Spending a lot of time arguing. Can. Not like a full clear, right. just enough to like... Enough for us to get through. Yeah. yeah. Mister, I got a music request for this. Bro, we got a time crunch! <laughs> I got one. Oh shit, I don't oh, have I it. One. It's at two minutes. The timer? It's at, don't waste wasting our time! It's at two minutes, I'm going to reset it. Because the, the song is important. Dude, you He's wasted right. 30 seconds telling us what we could do and co what couldn't do. Dog, y'all should just leave. Live to we, fight another day, at least day, at 2.30. Classic. <clears throat> okay. We're just dead, right? That's it. <laughs> okay, I reset it. You're at 2.30. Okay. Hey, 2.25? Uh, okay. 2.20? <laughs> you guys uh -huh. are uh, spending some time clearing away the blockage. Yep. That already <laughs> happened. DM, move on. 15. Okay. Um. Okay, you guys have made it past. <laughs> okay. Okay, we rush. You know where we're going. <laughs> This is not a cautious dungeon trek. We are sprinting. It's a big dungeon. I know it doesn't look like it from the outside, but the long, I mean, you're going to keep yelling. <laughs> yeah, make, why don't you make them remember where it is? Okay, you guys make it back here. to the flesh beast. We have to burn it, hurry. Wait, so we're doing that now? That's what we're doing. Oh, you guys are fucked. Huh? What do you do? Oh, kill fuck responding. Burn oh, it. I, right, it's these you two. Yeah, we need only them. What do you guys do? Burn it. You guys are fucked. Don't do this. You're gonna die, man. Is stripping lagging out or something? I, I I'm, so. I'm here. What, what? What? What's up? You guys We're are here. at the thing. What do you do? Okay. <laughs> Burn uh, it. I move four. I flame send. Flaherty casts oh. some fire on top of the beast, and in a violent rage, it starts reaching out towards the edge even faster. This thing is so I'll gigantic, it doesn't seem that a single piece of fire is going to be able to ignite it completely. If you guys want I to disarm this five. thing, you only have a minute left. I'm just, I'm I move five. I I'm flame right. red again. I'm punching Reckon. candle. I'm punching candle. I'm just going to keep wait, punching. Wait, 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 why did that fuck up? Hold up. Pause. I'm waiting. Pause. 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 Everyone pause. <laughs> Pausing. You had a minute. We're gonna hold, folks. Hold. Alright, we're gonna hold. My, uh, my intention here isn't to burn the whole thing, it's to burn the edges away from the out, uh, outside. To buy us more time. Your, your intention was what? That I'm using the fire to burn the tendrils from touching the outside of the ritual. So instead of just trying to burn the whole thing, I'm tactically burning, I'm singeing the edges to burn the whole thing back towards the middle. The tendril, the individual intestine itself isn't as important to the ritual is that it grows that size. It's not that like if it doesn't reach the edge, it's just a certain size threshold at which it's attempting to grow to at this moment. Hmm. Okay, are we ready? 
Yep. I'm beating the shit out of the candles as fast as I can. One I don't second. know what the, the time constraint on that is. Give us a second turn! Hold on. <laughs> I need that and not the center of the screen. God damn it! <laughs> Hold on. Is I'm that Minesweeper? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, yes, we're hacking! <laughs> I don't know why it's showing under the don't, Minesweeper. Don't give us a timer when you can't meet the crunch, well, okay? I'm, Take I'm it away. It. I'm pausing it. I fucking test it, the shit out, and for some reason, it's like showing it weird on one monitor. Let's all just calm down. I'm calm. I'm patiently waiting for my turn. I'm trying to figure out. Oh. I think I know what's happening. It's a weird fog of war thing. <laughs> it is a bomb. 60 seconds. Shit. Can I use my fate? Uh, limitedly. Limited use of fate. If you wanted to use fate to make sure that your first click isn't Obama, I will allow that. <laughs> well, I can't use my fate to make it, like, fuck up. You should or just something? start clicking what, shit. What dog. is happening no. here? What is this fucking mind You gotta do mind sweeper. Mind, you gotta do mind sweeper to disarm know, this I'm in time. You candles. got 40 seconds. What? What do you mean? I'm, I'm literally candles. burning the thing that's weak to fire. I shouldn't have to do, do shit. Burn it. The thing is growing gonna... quicker the more you're burning it. The only way to disarm it at I this don't even point know. is with mind I sweeper. Click on it? I can't even click on it. <laughs> Tell me, you got a point, a space click, space point. What you want to touch? What the fuck do you mean I got a point? Pause the timer. Then. Oh, you guys are done. Explain the mechanics. You guys have played mind sweeper before. You got to point to a thing. Oh, okay. dead, dead. Here. Nice. This All one. right. I fucking got damn it! <laughs> I just start swinging and sh cutting everything. Bro, fuck it. Oh, wait, fuck I have no target to swing. Fuck it. Cut, cut to black. The bomb goes you off. You fucking explained this so badly. Yeah. I hate this. Wait, so there was a minesweeper thing on the screen? Yeah. I didn't see that. All I saw was a fucking ticking timer. You had to damn. zoom away out to see it. You had to zoom away out to see it. Why didn't the DM fucking tell me? <laughs> D A D. Well, at this point, I feel like it would be fucking worse for me to go back on it. You Bro, know, there's absolutely no way I wouldn't so be able to fucking me, set to this whole thing on fire. Sweeper, which I know how to play. Okay, but the game right. tends Why'd you guys run into a fucking Give him 45 seconds to play Minesweeper. Okay. No, fuck that. You can't See, wait, look. Either we have a timer and we do combat, or we have an untimed game of Minesweeper. Like, well, you can't do both, right? Doesn't make sense. Why are you guys molding? Oh my god, dude, molding so bad. I'm down with 45 seconds just of Minesweeper as the last opportunity. Just die. Just be like dick and just fucking die. <laughs> just roll with the scuff, man. You guys are dead. <laughs> How do we put up with this shit? I don't know, dude. <laughs> fucking stuff. I feel like the whole, the whole idea is that you guys can't do this shit. <laughs> you cannot beat Minesweeper in 45 seconds. Hey, can just start clicking. Right, I'm gonna do the, I'm They're gonna, gonna pop. <laughs> point to it. The problem is that we can't interact the timer. With, so we have to point. Yeah. I'm All gonna right. take out the dragon tome out of my head and then point it at the pile and try and. All read right. It. That's a good use of time. <laughs> you take out the dragon tome and you read it. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. I try and like find a way to like read in the tome of dragons. We can't like, even. I can't even fucking play Minesweep while this is happening. I have I no mean, control. You could, you could be pointing. Can't, you can Bro. point. We have to point individually. We have to point. He doesn't even give us control. We have to point. <laughs> just die. This is getting I, sad. Honestly, man. just die. Sure. You can, die. You're, you're pulling out the dragon tome. This has nothing to do with dragons. And I asked I you to point, and you're like, something. listen, this is scuffed, but the bomb goes off. Imagine not letting yeah. set fire to the fucking thing that's weak to fire. Ran to a bomb. That's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. If it happens, it happens. Should have just burnt down a library and smoked pot with the boys. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. 
One sec. Yeah, if you're gonna kill us anyway, just skip all this fucking sequence. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking kill, kill me fifteen. Just kill me fifteen minutes ago, bro. Don't take me yeah. through the dungeon. Don't get me through the fight. Don't sell up mind to me, but just say you're dead. I'm like, all right, cool. Kill, fuck standing on the hill with the boys taking a fat bong rip. Oh, you think the guys are okay? <laughs> and I'm like, no way, man. Did you see the size of that thing? I was yeah. zoomed in. You you I was. I, I didn't see it until like it was like ten seconds. Dude, that, that's the funniest part. I'm zoomed in. I was zoomed into the fight. Yeah. Doing it, and then the, the DM says, "Wait, you had to scroll out and play Minesweeper." I thought every center. I, I, I saw it right away. <laughs> yeah, I sorry, I'm not fucking zoomed out on the entire. Map. I wasn't I zoomed out. out. I was literally. I had the, the fucking bomb. I'm I trying to accomplish within two minutes. Dude, I had. I literally had. The, it framed perfectly. I saw the edge of it and I said, is that Minesweeper? And Stur said, yeah. <laughs> and then he laughed. True. Yeah, when I when I heard that, I thought it was like he had, you know, because like the ticking yeah, you thing. Knew what to do, you, just, you started to read. Huh? I, well, I'm going to finish my sentence anyways, but the, like the first time he brought up that little circle timing thing, that was fucking hilarious. So I thought he just had weird shit he's able to enable in the game. So when you said, is that Minesweeper? I thought you like clicked the wrong. I thought, thing. yeah, I thought like every time we took a turn, he would like play Minesweeper or something to determine if we died. <laughs> I'm sorry for it being confusing, but it's here's what happens. Whatever you guys happens, are, happens. You guys are unable to disarm the bomb. It was risky enough to go down here after you guys had slept for one whole day exited the basement three or four times to go talk to people upstairs and it has been growing the whole time it isn't actually a quote bomb the room kind of splatters and there's a huge explosion of blood within the room that'll send you guys flying but what cool. the ritual does do and the people outside of the castle can see in the distance as they are running up the hill and also mind you did not warn a single soul Except for the one person <laughs> yeah, that they mind control. No one warned anyone, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. You see a cloud appear over the castle, a shadow cast over the entire area. And from the sky, a swirling mass forms above it, a meteorite of flesh and bone larger than the castle itself. Not completely like from like meteorite level, not like stratosphere to the point where it would make like a global impact and tsunami the whole world. But this giant flesh mass lands and descends upon the castle, completely demolishing it. The people <laughs> in the basement, though thrashed, are okay and can get out, but the castle is completely destroyed. And in the coming oh, yeah. days, creatures and monsters and flesh monstrosities will climb out of this gigantic mass which <laughs> no one is clear on how you could possibly deal with it laying along the main path of the high sword route there is no longer a toll road but an impassable flesh heap <laughs> we did that we did that guys and unless there's any questions that's cool. the session <laughs> yeah. uh, so when do I talk about, to you about making a new character? Um, if you would like for Gilliard to die, we can do that. Uh, no, I'm not going to wait. force you from dying in the basement because it... No, no, no. I wasn't going to die. He obviously just can't coexist in the party anymore, so he's just going to move on. That's also a reasonable wait, take. you're telling me that I have happens. a chance to live? You yeah, both live. How, yeah. like, what, 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 like, I'm just down here chilling? Yeah. The basement, the deep layer that you're in underneath the castle does not, like, cave in and you die. You're able to, like, escape out the back through the sewer. Why don't you just play the long con with Gilliard? <laughs> What's the long I, yeah. con? So far, I think we, I, I, I'll, I, I think, I think we, I think we live. Our long con here like, is maybe what? to kill the, kill the others now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They can become NPCs that kill them, but like, guys, it's, it's a D and D party. We can't like do dual routes the entire campaign. Well, I'm not saying the entire. I, I think you should sleep on that. But no, like, what? I'm I'm like curious to see like with how my character's been presenting himself this whole time. How does he exist? Just play the long con, man. It's just like me. What does that mean? Mike is actually my future cop character. What, what does that mean, though? <laughs> You just this wait to a... betray the fuck out of us. The long <laughs> con, man. 
Yeah. Uh, See, doesn't that look? A, the map looks you, a lot you, cooler. Do you, do you feel like his okay. his um his morality is incompatible with the the team? Hundred percent. Yeah. Like, uh, dude, at every turn, Chuck tries to fuck over Gilliard. Uh, oh, come on. To... No, no, no. I'm not mad at anything that happened. I'm just explaining my character and why he's leaving right now. And this is how it all makes sense. Leaving he's... what? Earth? <laughs> no, he's just leaving this party. He's not leaving Earth. <laughs> he's not, he's gonna, in a spaceship. He's just <laughs> saying <laughs> that the morals, <laughs> the morals and the goals of the party do not align at all. And there would be an endless amount of infighting. So based on the events, yeah. Flatty yeah, wake, yeah. Sla Flatty wakes up. <laughs> Gilead's gone. She assumes he died. No, no, no. He, like, I'm, I assume we wake up at the same time because we're both getting knocked out. And I would just say, like, Flaherty, I don't think I can stay here any longer. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, it's safe. It is pretty fucked. She'll look around all like the viscera. I'm assuming we're just like head to toe like red and green and just covered in goo. The, the room is covered in blood and you guys down in the basement aren't 100% aware of what has transpired yet, though you could definitely Flatty feel... will like reach her hands up and like wipe viscera from her eyes so she can see. What do you mean? Yeah, he looks around with you. I like... think we might need to move on and find people that agree with us. And maybe we can find these monsters. What do you mean we gotta find the others? What about Kelfuck? And Don't Dick? show us his path. Dick's gonna die soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, listen, I, I kind of understand how you feel, Garrier, but I feel a sense of camaraderie between me and the, the gang. <laughs> I'm gonna fault you for going back towards them if you want, but I won't be coming back. Are you sure? Feels like You've got Stockholm just, Syndrome, guys. <laughs> it feels like I didn't belong. <laughs> Look, do you want me to tell them anything? I don't think they'll care. Don't worry. Just say I died down there. If that's what you want. Cool. For what it's worth, I'm I'm sorry we didn't believe you. It's fine. I don't <laughs> think it matters. I <sighs> should look at like all the fucking guts everywhere. He'll put he'll put his hand on your shoulder and be like, remember what kill fuck showed me. Someone messed with the captain's mind. So remember, your thoughts might not even be your own at this point. <laughs> Uh. You what? <laughs> you what? <laughs> what do you mean? Haven't you ever listened to Chuck and what he's always saying, being the mine invader? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a figure of speech, like he could figure out what we was thinking or something. No, he'll shake his hand, his head. I feel like... He always wanted to do something to me. <laughs> yeah. <I did. laughs> uh, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. Wish harm on you or something? Just look at me. And he was always trying to grab a piece of my hair. Right, so don't let Chuck have a lock of me hair. I mean, Maybe he died. I'm pretty I mean, sure they weren't alive. leaving. <laughs> I don't know what they did. That's I true. wasn't there the whole time. All I know well, is I can't be in this place anymore. How's about we find our way out together, and then if you still feel this way, I'll tell him you died. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And they trudge through the sludge of the sewers. And then part ways. Do we do we actually find a way out? Yeah. Okay. Um Yeah. I guess uh I need to figure out what the group would be doing next. 
Um, if you want to stick around or if you want to change characters, I think we're going to take one week off, what with the apocalypse happening, <laughs> and uh, figure out what your interests are next, unless you have any closing RP or anything you want to say about what you would like to do. Um, I, uh, the, what are I, the I other got, three got, got, Yeah, I got a question. All right, so the three Let's of us... Radio Pike. <laughs> the, the three of us booked it out, right? Yeah. Um, would we have had a vantage point to see all of this happen? Yeah. So is it like the classic, like, we're on a hill watching, like, like the city explode? As the castle just sinks in on itself? You're, you're standing in the distance and you see the giant meatball start forming inside the sky, just sort of appearing and creating before it finally, like, gravity lets go of it right on top of the castle. Um, do we see anyone, like, running from the castle as we're overlooking it? Or is it just, like... Uh, at best... Okay, well, no, you don't see anyone running out of the castle, and even if they did, it is big enough that the impact likely killed them anyway. Maybe, yeah. like, one or two stragglers got out, but after it lands, you do see, like, human figures and strange uh, creatures, like, crawling out from inside the meatball. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, All right, mate. Oh, oh fuck. Let's, mate, let's head north. <laughs> let's head north, come. We gotta hey. find Moik. Let's find Radiant Mike, guys, and tell him what we did. He's gonna be stoked, Gov. Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. If there's nothing else, I think, Penta, you were saying something? I, I say let's go find Radiant Mike. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, hey, look. Killfuck's just along for the ride. He just wants to get out of where his home is, so whatever. he's down for whatever. Yeah, this is, uh, this is... Not as bad as where I came from. Listen, anything's better than that. <laughs> okay, then we can... Even uh, the giant hey God, we left here. No way we could have stopped that shit. So am I just like... <laughs> I'm just like asking if anyone's seen three fucking weird guys and I'm just following like the rumors to catch up to them. Uh, you'll... <laughs> I think be like she, a, heard, I, I, she would have heard uh, the radiant mic going north thing, right? So you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that? You don't know that we would have gone there though? So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's enough expectation I mean, that you'll be able to meet up and continue if you want to continue with this character. Based on the location, like, 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 based on the going. map and the location of the castle, north is kind of the only place to go, right? Yeah, because the bridge is broken, right? Yeah, because the bridge is fucked. This bridge, right? And we, yeah, no. Oh, it's this bridge. Oh. So I guess I guess she would just head towards the giant snake. Makes sense. Uh, anyway, you guys will meet up. I'll have like a whole new intro, but are you guys ready to meet up on the 16th then for the yes, reunion? Sir. And I'll talk to uh, Shore for until then uh, for making your new character. I'm excited to see your new character. Yeah, you already know what it's going to be. Is it, is it going to be Piss Goblin? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make something that fits the group of this character. <laughs> I stop being the contrarian because... Oh no, am I going to have to be... Out? Yeah, <laughs> Dude, you you are the again. You're, you're the oh, faded no. you're the faded straight man. Oh, no. <laughs> is, I already have the background set. The background is gonna be I'm I was a guy in Eden and I was just this bum fuck that could, would do anything for money, right? And I heard of this party that went and killed someone's son and just <laughs> ran away. And I'm gonna be like, I need to find these guys. These guys do anything. <laughs> oh, okay, you <laughs> might have some dream. like you might have some extra backstory then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's bust open the fan art, and I I don't imagine people got to drawing a flesh ball that quickly, but maybe let's see what we got. You never know, man. <clears throat> yeah, I imagine this flesh ball looked like uh, Symphony of the Night. You know, Symphony of the Night with the fucking flesh beast monster, like the corpse monster. Legion, yeah. Yeah, the giant ball. Yep. I don't know that, but sure. <laughs> but sure. Uh, I don't know this meme, as I don't know most memes. In a meme, let's, let's see it. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Is this the? Uh, it's keep this on yourself. You gave some. Oh, the dragon bones. Apparently, it's from Castlevania. I don't know though. Oh, hold on. I'm in the wrong channel. Oh, we had a really... I, I loved this one. Uh, posted a little bit earlier. 
It's uh, Gilliard holding a knife, talking nonsense, reading with a book, handing lucky dragon bones. <laughs> 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 that's awesome i think Thank lucky you. snapping has been one of my favorite moments <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about man? well lucky's like <laughs> super <laughs> dead right lucky's like yeah. mega dead maybe no way maybe no he's way. lucky he made it oh, out true, true i believe true. in that boy we got the gutter folk slicing that guy's throat to summon the aberrant cosmos void situation cool cool Gilliard wanted to show everyone. Dude, it's funny that everyone turned on Gilliard for showing him the book and everyone else literally destroyed the castle. Yeah. <laughs> Terrorism I, gaslight. He tried so hard to save everyone and everyone was just like, shut up, nerd. Like, <laughs> it was fucked up. It was so fucked. That's what happens, man. Uh, there's something I have to link to you guys at the end if you want to look at it. Uh, we got Flaherty with the... Nice. What that head do? I'd nice be holding gun. my own head. Hey yo. Love that stump. <laughs> That's beautiful. Is that a Luger? I'll go cut. Wait a second. <laughs> Gilliard when everyone he knows dies. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's the that's the Gilead face, but just covered in like blood and guts. <laughs> At the end, <laughs> got a little little headless dull handy. Oh, little heart, it's little cute. heart. Like, oh, mm. cute. love it's it. Mm. Such cute characters. I think that's why Bob got and a Bob. ring in her last night. <laughs> yeah, you got some cool loot for him. Sure did. <laughs> it's not Cute. love. It's not love. Unless that's dick. But I think that's me. And it's not love. <laughs> it's a dragon. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Should have killed that guy. I like uh, Chuck's slow progression into Weird Al in the band. <laughs> yeah. He looks he like Narwhal, dude. Yeah. He did kind of start as Weird Al, though. Yeah, yeah. He had a lot of Weird Al vibes. Nerd War. Can Come on for more. Did it did it. So muscular, dude. Nice. There we go. That's what I like to see. Beefcakes. Really just showing off the goods. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Actually trying to say him he has a perk. <laughs> uh, I got nothing, mate. <laughs> yeah. With the rat. Rat dab. <laughs> Rat dab with penis nose. I meant dab his forehead of sweat. <laughs> Suck it, <laughs> this, boys. This is our turf. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a cool ass. Well, at least we took care of those gutter folk. No, they got away. There's only one of them. <laughs> well, we took care of him. <laughs> <laughs> I love all these I neutral no no ass Gilliards. It looks like he's seen some shit. He, at this point, he has. <laughs> he has seen quite a bit. <laughs> he has seen some shit. So I feel like if I if I survive yeah. this, I want like uh, to roll on the injury table. That's fair. We'll I'll we'll do that two. next session. <laughs> 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 Ew! Yeah, that looks good. Lucky, I mean. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 about Lucky being next to cold Dude, cuts? Lucky's lunches were delicious. <laughs> Look at that. Gonna crush um, some crushies. I hope Lucky's dead, guys. Whoa! Your boy's in guy. the void. He's not gonna be fucking dead. He's lucky, man. Cool void. Sick bukaki. Oh, that's sick. No, I like the one, I like the one that's off. flipping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> His mind's gone. <laughs> well, he sinked in the piss. <laughs> <laughs> he does both. <laughs> it's 
Some Man, that's cool the way you blew up a building. That's so cool. Love the void. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's Dick hiding behind the door. Definitely <laughs> not eavesdropping. <laughs> contemplating my life. <laughs> <All right. laughs> my bad. Okay, that's it. Was it. A, it was a good idea. <laughs> It's It'll, fine. Next time, better execute it. Or just say we fucking die. I had fun. I, like I had fun with you guys panicking either way. Yeah, <laughs> I like that you were edging them. Here's a timer. Wait, DM loading. <laughs> 30 seconds are Dude, I, I, re I revealed it, and the first time I revealed it, it wasn't showing the shit covering it. Because, like, the... F I don't know. I don't even know. It was know. so funny the way, like... <laughs> I was zoomed all the way in and I was like, what's that tiny gray box in the corner of my screen? And then I like zoomed out and it was a giant fucking minesweeper board. Bro, and I, I was like, fucking oh no. <laughs> Just fucking kill me, dog. We did, we did a good thing, guys. We did, we actually did do a good thing if you think about it. We freed Lucky from his master. Well, he's dead. I don't think he's dead. Well, the the Aegis were, were dude. The Aegis were pieces of shit anyway. Dude. Yeah, the Aegis were. They're literally guys. bandits. They were pirates. Yeah, uh, surely this thing is way better. There's than we created. <laughs> one more thing. A animatic someone created. It's uploaded on YouTube. I put it in the Aegis recruits. All I'm right. gonna mute and. I'll... What do you mean? The romance I... is dead. What do you what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? He's gone. Pussy. I'm gonna say it. You're Listen, being a I know, I know most of my experiences in D&D &D roleplay and when you can't exist in the party, usually you gotta move on, Penta. No, you have to force your RP onto other people. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta right. move on. You yeah, you, move you, have on. To, you have to roleplay at people so that they're forced to interact the way that you want them to interact with you. That's Here's the way the you thing. do it. There's no right way to roleplay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. you just role play. You role so play you can't at be someone, not I'm a with pussy them. When I'm choosing my way to role play, I think you're choosing the easy way out, like how Dick wants to do it. I'm choosing the correct way out in my mind. And I, it's not I out. think it's moving on to a character that will fit the party. Why not go? I think you should. I think you should play the long con. What is <laughs> the long con? <laughs> Betrayal. It can be really hard to play the situation in D&D, &D, and there's two situations where either way it can kind of fall apart, especially as a DM, where if you have one character that doesn't feel like it fits within a group, that I can either spend a lot of effort trying to make them fit in, but then that makes them the main character, even though they're the one that isn't supposed to be there, and it sort of derails the intention of everyone else. I also, think it's that, not like here, a... here's the thing. I think that, here's the thing, okay? Dick, Chuck, obviously villains, right? Um, but I think that, uh, I think that Killfuck and, um, uh, Flaherty still on the fence. So I think that there could yeah. be some persuasion there. The problem, the problem is that Gilead as a character wasn't vengeful. So for him to suddenly be like, I'm going to kill them one by one. It isn't yeah, if in I was his vengeful, nature. I would have killed it's you more, as soon yeah. as you murdered this It's son. more in Gillian's nature to be like, this group of people is leading me down a bound path. I'm out. So I, it, he would, he would, I think in, a, in another situation, Shuffle would do what you want if the character fit better, but Gilead just, unless he like did a metal break or something, like wouldn't be like, I'm a hunt down Chuck. Cause I think he's responsible, but I have no proof. Listen, man, I'm just a masochist. I like going for whatever's going to punish me the most. That's, That's all. Yeah. Your RP is your RP. Don't worry. Piss Goblin will punish you. <laughs> Hey guys, don't, who we next, don't boys? you worry. Piss Goblin will find a way to punish you. I think Piss Goblin is, is going to be good energy. Uh, if you're still in map tools, uh, stripping, I can roll the injury now. You just get out of the way. Yeah, I, I'm in. 